Um, it's it's not the most well known game. However, um, it does force you to do things like this. And honestly, isn't that innovative enough to get game of the year back when it was made? So anyway, this is Library of Arena. And um, I said for a while I'll be doing some kind of different streams on Thursdays until I get, man, I wish I was sponsored by these guys, but I'm not. Um, I'd be doing sort of different streams as a break from ring only until I find a suitable run. But, uh, oh, have I finally got a job? I have a temporary job right now that is not what I want to do, but nope, still looking, still applying. So, I streamed a game at the recommendation of Zianus, um, a longtime viewer, which was Lobotomy Corporation. And I streamed it, and it is not a game that I could stream well, and I don't know how people could stream it well, like in all the middle days. There's some exciting parts, but especially the way I play, which is very, like, pause heavy. It wouldn't have made for a good stream, but I did stream it once and that was fun. Then, about a year later, like a couple months ago, I started playing it and it's really good and it is very hard. It is like one of the hardest games I've ever beaten vanilla. And um, it was insane because I was worried. I was like, oh no, I'm grinding too much. I've been grinding literally for hours while I'm doing other stuff. Um, no, I got to the final stages and I almost... Basically, I won by luck in the end, but uh, I didn't feel like I wasted any time grinding and all of my guys were near max level. But um, I highly recommend that game. Um, my advice for that game is, number one, read the manual, which I didn't do for this game. Nice. Number two, um, keep your eyes buttered. That's right, Zianus. I wanted to play that, so for those of you who don't know, um, from Library of Ruina on to Limbus Corporation, um, which is the third game in this series. Third, it's, it's sort of a gotcha mobile game they made as an in-between. My favorite band Millie made the music for. So anyway, um, thank you for the $10, Giannis. I'm glad you showed up. So the, the, the three things I can say about Lobotomy Corporation, I highly Sir, recommend abide it. Abide with Rubicon! Keep your eyes buttered is and that's the lyrics from the intro song and i'm scared it'll get copyrighted anyway the three things i can recommend one is read the manual two is if you know someone um and you're having issues with the game ask that person rather than going online because the the game is best played when it's blind and number three expect to restart days weeks or an entire playthrough um but it's really good it is a very good game. It is very difficult. The way I played it, because I had three playthroughs, the first one doesn't really count because that was a stream playthrough. The second playthrough was incredible. The third playthrough got really grindy because of how I did it, but the end is really fun. Um, anyway, this is the sequel to this game, to that game, which I just finished like yesterday. I finished Lobotomy Corporation. So I don't know too much about this game. The third game is like a gotcha game and I actually played it a bit before stream and eh, but I was also like eh for Lobotomy Corporation. So if you remind me at the end of this stream, I want to show my Lobotomy, Lobotomy Corporation employees because they're funny. Um, but that, oh, what I want to say is that game's about like, it's like think of the SCP Foundation and you're like managing monsters and everyone dies all the time a lot but this is a sequel to that you don't i don't think you have to know lobotomy corporation to play this game but it'd definitely be good he was like that at uh two with limbus at the start limbus i automatically didn't want to stream oh the thing i will say about this game because i went through the intro but i didn't really read this game at least the intro is very long <laughs> so get get ready for that we're not going to see gameplay for a long time also, all the dialogues in Korean. Lobotomy can be played like a roguelite? Sort of. Um, this will not be a full playthrough unless people are really interested. And I enjoy the game, which I assume I will. 
Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for this. I must ask you, how long did day 49 take you to beat? It took me three hours and five attempts. My facility was I like super easy. I only had one Aleph, or however you say that. All of my employees, save for three, had over 130 stats. Um, and I got really lucky on my fifth, like really lucky. Um, but fuck Bina, Bina can suck my nads for eternity. Bina can the fuck off. It's not even because she's hard, it's because she literally cheats in the game. She literally cheats because they, they are fucking terrible at programming it. You have to be on your A game uh, with big brain for this first run for arena because it's turn based. So no pausing here. Uh, uh. Um, yeah. From what people said, if stream does get marked for the music, Millie does not con uh, contend if you counterclaim. Oh, okay. I didn't know Limbus Company. I didn't know the song Millie made for that was for that game. So I was like, whoa, okay. Only five attempts? Yeah. Um, I'm kind of fucking good at the game. No, I killed Bina. Um, and it was hell. I was fucking raging. My fifth attempt was really easy, but like I said, it was very easy. Oh yeah, and the story behind all of this is really good. Lobotomy Corporation is kind of slow to kick off the story, but it's really good, but I'm also kind of stupid. So it's hard for me to fully understand the story. But I highly recommend Lobotomy Corporation. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is blaringly loud into my ears. Let's get started. Uh, yeah, there's nothing on that save data. So this is a lot, so I was, I'm going to be reading. <clears throat> Try and do no death run on Lobcorp. Someone did um, one agent for Lobcorp, and I, I don't want to spoil what it was. Um... Or how that run went. Oh, I thought this was a loading screen. Anyway, just real quick. Um, but now I can finally watch the end because I didn't see days 45 through 50. The run I was thinking of for Lobotomy Corporation that hasn't been done yet that I will not do is um, only ego gifts, no ego armor or ego weapons. Or, excuse me, ego suits. That is the one run I can see for Lobotomy Corporation. That's okay. It just, it just sucks when you get to the the core suppressions in Lobotomy Corporation because it, it just fucking kills like so many challenge runs. I still cannot leave this place. Even at the end of all of this, I cannot be free. Am I not allowed to have a dream that is beyond my means? I know who this is. Damn it, the purple tear. Why do they have to blur the text too during this part? <laughs> Can't believe this is how she handled it. What the hell happened? What's with all this smoke? Guess I'll have to trust her. Also, I don't know like any Korean. Korean is one of the um, the languages I really don't have experience with. So I can't even like parse the words in it. Whereas like Japanese and Chinese, I can like hear the words, but like Korean sounds all like gibberish. Like I can't even understand where the words begin. Andy, either you do the voices or you don't read the text. No. <laughs> Thought this was a dating sim until I looked a game up. Very disappointing. No. Saw that in video, that's insane. The, uh, the one agent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I despise verbose and roundabout speech that doesn't get straight to the point. So don't try to get wordy, just answer my question. That's such fucking horseshit. She is overly verbose. I, I know who this is. I know who she is. She's already overly verbose. I don't... I have a memory. Oh, well, actually, I guess if you consider the lore, she sort of doesn't. Where did you come from? How did you enter this place? And for what wow. purpose? <laughs> well, who are you to... Oh, boy, I'm suddenly getting all nauseous. My leg. My leg! 
다시 한번 물어볼게. I warned you and you crossed the line. Let me ask you one more time. Where did you come from? How did you enter this place? And for what purpose? I was just walking around and ended up here before I even realized it. I have no idea how I got here. Whoa, the whole Damn it, blood's gushing out of my right leg. I swear I wasn't trying to trespass. I don't even know where this is. I woke up around 1 p.m. and started walking around the streets of District 13. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, why does it do that? Cool. Since I was just out and about, I figured I'd go wherever I wanted, so I decided to drop by Ham Ham Pang Pang. Heard they served a weekly special sandwich. So Ham Ham Pang Pang is a real-life restaurant that the developers own. Um, also, if you want a little background in the setting, it's basically a hyper-capitalist dystopia where there's this whole city and there's like fucking mercenaries called fixers and there's this whole organization. It's not, I don't know how con conglomerated it is, but there's like, I think 21 wings and each wing is a mega corporation that basically commits atrocities for the sake of profit. And Lobotomy Corporation was one of those. They basically, for non-spoiler stuff, like contained monsters and sucked energy out of them. But they're all committing atrocities, basically. Oh, so it's set in the real world? Oh, no. <laughs> no. This, this world's fucked. Just the average 40k hive city. Yeah. I've heard Ham Ham Pang Pang is extremely expensive. Andy has never even heard my real voice. Blue hair lady be like, don't ramble, then immediately starts rambling. I know. I, I, I already know. I just have feelings against her, so I'm like... Also, I thought this guy looks like me just a bit. When I'm anyway, I have bills. So wait, this guy didn't he just get his leg cut off? And he's like, eh, I had bills to pay, got no jobs, had to make a living somehow. As a one man. Oh. You dragged on too long. I'll be taking your left arm and left leg. Well, you see, I was working. The we was working on the tires, and that's all that was took. He just keeps like talking. You have no, you have no purpose, and you don't even know how you got here. Just who are you? Just an ordinary fixer who's hit rock bottom. Oh, okay. So yeah, fixers, as far as I read, because actually Limbus Corporation gave a big description of them. They're mostly just mercenaries, but I read they also can do other stuff. But I think they're just mercenaries, really. What the hell is this place? And who are you? <laughs> Come on, taking two limbs at once is cheating. <laughs> they sell good merch at Ham Ham Pang Pang. It'd be cool if I could go there, but it's in Korea. Man <laughs> needs the bread. I'm the one asking the questions. Your name? Lolan. <laughs> Lolan. Lalo Salamanca. <laughs> Good. Welcome to the library. We've yet to serve any guests, but then you suddenly appeared out of nowhere. It took me quite a bit of effort designing this library to ensure that no un uninvited guests could enter, you see. <laughs> Damn it, these lens were all I had. I don't have any cash or mor mortgages to get new ones anymore. He's only got... He only has this hand. It's his stomach. Lolan Gaming. Roland finally named Best Boy ri Arises. Seems he's fainted. You know what this I, I I was trying to think of what this reminds me of, besides ReZero. Um, is this part right here reminds me of uh why is it P? Uh his JPEG is not properly reflecting the flot the plot. What? 
That part. At once, stop bitching. She took ne technically took them one at a time. No, I think she grabbed because he lost like his right leg and then she grabbed his left leg and left arm at the same time. My legs, my arms, it's all I have. It's back. Wait, they're all intact again. You should be able to swing your arms and walk again. I've made a few readjustments to your body to make it easier to use. What does that mean? Although you did trespass on my library, I also took your limbs away without your consent, so I'm giving you these as an apology. Wow. That's nice. He never lost any limbs, though? He didn't change at all? Yeah. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, that... Yeah. I kind of got irked by that, too. This girl's gonna give you shit every day of the week. <laughs> she already did! And <laughs> I'm used to it. Patient my ass. Am I really supposed to be thankful for this? So you might be thinking, wow, this guy really isn't responding to these crazy things that are happening. But their world's so fucked up that this is like sort of regular. And if he's a fixer, he probably runs into the abnormalities all the time. And the, uh, your warning isn't in effect anymore, right? Nope, not anymore. I had a few thoughts while you were knocked out. Here's my conclusion. You'll help me out here. Oh, not again. What, huh? Do syndicates these days kidnap people this way too? Or is this one of the wings? I don't know what a syndicate is. Roland was in the quantum state of limbs. He didn't, but does, and the JP reflects this. <laughs> I heard rumors that they abduct test subjects from here and there for singularity research. So, background lore. Singularities are basically, as I understand it, the thing each of the wings or the mega corporations uses as their profit. So there's like T Corp, which uses time shit. There's L Corp, which is Lobotomy Corporation. I don't really know what their singularity is. Oh. I think I do know what it is, but it's really spoiler heavy. But it's just their energy production. R Corp, I want to say, which is like, they're called the rabbits. I think it's just like mercenaries. The bucket, yeah, it's the, it's the bucket in Lobotomy Corporation. Fucking Lobotomy Corporation lore is so deep. That is the reason why I love this series so far, because Lobotomy Corporation, like, expands the world like so intensely like it's really rich but sometimes it's hard to like keep track of what's going on because they call stuff like i couldn't figure out what the bucket was for so long because i couldn't tell if the damn fucking bina was saying like this is the will and we take the bucket and then it's like literally they look use analogies like literally and sometimes it's really fucking confusing it can get, it can get like, really, whatever. I don't know why Lobotomy Corporation is called Lobotomy Corporation. I have some guesses, but I don't think they ever actually say. An acquaintance of mine apparently began jumping between dimensions as a side effect of one of those experiments. Oh, my life really is an unlucky mess. Yeah, I like this guy's attitude. His legs are also so long. This is a library. I don't know the syndicates you're talking about, but this place isn't a wing at least. Doesn't really matter. Whatever the case, I'm trapped here and you'll exploit me, right? <laughs> yeah, this is the way it goes in this world. <laughs> yes, I'm letting you live for two reasons. First, I need an analysis of how you en could enter this place uninvited, sending you back or neglecting you without knowing the reason could pose a significant threat to the library. Well, it's not like you can leave without my permission anymore. Second, from now on, I will collect books from the city in search of the one absolute book. Oh, about the city. I want you to help me with this process. Since you are a resident of the city, expect you to be helpful in various ways. 
Darn, I can't DM in the YouTube stream to ask him out if it's okay to give a potentially annoying suggestion to Andy as my first message. Is that something you can do on Twitch? What is your annoying suggestion? I suck at lob corp. How do you even play it? You got to read the manual. If you have any questions, you can probably, I don't know, ask some people. It, it is really confusing at first, but then it, once you like understand the basics, it becomes pretty easy to understand. Not easy to play. It's fucking hard. There's just like, the problem, the problem from a gameplay perspective with Lobotomy Corporation is it's all in Hebrew. <laughs> it's like, it's like, instead of saying, this is, um, this guy not dangerous, this guy sort of dangerous, this guy is a nuclear explosion. They're like, Wa, Teneth, Zet, Zayin, the Aleph, and I don't know how to pronounce any of that. And then it's like, you have this thing that will like, s do some, eh, because it does so many different things. It's like the Quipwaf meltdown counter. And it, it's like, it's just when your abnormality is gonna be released usually, but it, they call it this thing. And then they have a quip off gauge as well. And then you got the other meltdown counter. And it's really confusing to keep all the terms straight. <laughs> Isn't Lob Corp basically the base management portion of XCOM, but as a whole game? I don't know XCOM. No grind mod saves time and tedium. I don't expect Andy to use mods for first playthrough, but this quality of life basically. No, I want the full experience. You do not know how hard it was for me to like not download a faster fast forward mod for Lob Corporation, but I have to. <sighs> I knew this would happen to me someday. People would disappear without a trace. Only to be found as chunks of flesh much later. I just keep thinking about how like I usually complain about horror, even though this isn't really a horror, horror, horror protagonist, like not reacting appropriately to anything. But this world's so fucked that I'm like, yeah, yeah. After Lob Corp, after the Bottomy Corporation, your whole view when you're playing these games just changes. I used to laugh at those poor folks for being careless and unlucky, but now I see it. It has nothing to do with carelessness or anything. It just happens without a moment's notice. Also, if you open the workshop, you'll get jarred spiled. The fuck does that mean? Is that a ligma? You played through most of the game on Xbox Game Pass and bought it on Steam for mods. I had to play through the game again. Oh, yeah. That's understandable. Don't be too concerned about your life. You are not allowed to die here unless I permit you to. Damn it, so this was a crazy laboratory sort of deal. Do you like shove random stuff like corn kernels and clockwork into people's stomach and turn them into walking popcorn spewing popcorn machine men or something? <laughs> Oh, that does sound something sh like something she would do. This has to. This has got to be the worst. I'd rather, much rather die and be over with it all. If you spout such nonsense one more time, I'll gladly turn you into a human popcorn machine as you wish. No, no, no. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, it was a uh, walking popcorn spewing popcorn machine man fucking get it right. <laughs> I've already gone through so many <laughs> Pearl, abide with Rubicon. <laughs> That is a fantastic line. I'm not into that shit. Damn. <laughs> I already have to deal with Michigan's popcorn every day of the week. Holy shit, that's such a good line. I've already gone through so many cycles of bullshittery responding to every bit of meaningless rubbish. I'm sorry, ma'am. She's taking literally zero shit. I mean, yeah, of course she is. My name is Angela. There she is. Fuck you. I am the head librarian and director of this library. Angela. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I did start talking. That's funny. And he, and she's like, Roland. And he's like, no, 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 Roland. 
Lalo Salamanca. No, that's Ra Rangula now. Yeah. So what am I supposed to do? I like this guy. Your role is to welcome guests invited to the library. I will carefully determine what guests to invite and write an invitation accordingly. And you entertain the guests once they accept the invitation and arrive at the library. Since you have actual experience working as a fixer, I'm sure you will be able to give the various types of guests a much better reception than I could. Just a washed up grade 9 fixer though? I have no idea what that means. How are you doing today, Andy? I'm doing well. Doing good, I'm excited. I'm excited to play this. So when does she absorb the S2 engine and get giant and naked? I don't know what that means. She came out of Arena with full Kratos energy. She's not here for this patient shit. Yeah, I remember reading some meme. I forgot what Lobotomy Corporation was. It's like... It's like peace and tranquility or something. And then Library of Arena was... Called like, fuck it we ball, fuck it we ball. What's this reception all about anyway? Do I catch their eyes or be a waiter for them or something? You'd look like you'd be like a butler. It's simple. Ugh, it's simple. You just have to deal with the guests in a physical manner, of course. The library presents the guests with an ordeal. <laughs> Please don't say that word. I get flashbacks. And books will open up in the process. Fuck the, the guests will have. The who have overcome the ordeal will be deemed worthy to earn their books. Worthy ordeal now? Is ordeal like, like a reference? It's in the Botany Corporation. It's probably a different thing. This is the possibility... Oh, there is the possibility that you may die in the process of reception, but it's only temporary. You'll get back up when the library closes. No one here may rest without my permission. Do you happen to have some weird fantasies about fixers? Aren't you expecting too much from a grade 9? I'm not as talented as you seem to think, you know. But you will be. It's none of my business. I've prepared a manual for you. So go ahead and figure things out yourself. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Mm -hmm. I think I get the gist of it now. So how does this invitation exactly work? Holy shit! I have returned. Also, how is this game and what's going on? Cause I'm lost. Also, how is this game? What's up, Flame and Taco? It's been a while. That's a huge donation. Thank you. What is this game? What's going on? We're lost. We haven't even gotten to the game yet. This is a very, very long intro. Read the manual. Ugh. What the hat? Also, the hat is this game. Hat. Oh, what is this game? Oh. It is a sequel to one of my favorite games. It's Lobotomy Corporation. It's from a Korean developer uh, team. I don't know what this game is. I think it's like deck building. I don't know what that means. Lob Every game is different. Lobotomy Corporations is like a, a managing monsters game. This one I think is deck building. Limbus Corporate Company is dungeon crawler. Gotcha. And then the fourth game is going to be a third person game. Action game. Use cards to fight. Like I've played fucking Chain of Memories. I don't own that. Good on, Next, the invitation will be naturally sent out to those who need the books. <laughs> That's it. Sounds a bit too easy. Limbus balls. My spelling mistake. My career is over. Well, I'm thinking hat. I'm like, you like my hat from the San Diego Zoo? It's an H game. What does that mean? This game is similar to Limbus. It's more complex version of Limbus's combat with cards instead of skill ball things. You've not absorbed a single plot point so far. She want I'm I'm a I am a mercenary guy. I think that it's I don't exactly know what fixers are, but the fixers I know are mercenaries. 
and I stumbled upon this place and blue haired AI girl is telling me I have to invite guests of to her library and she controls this place like a god. That's what you need to know about lore. I explained the lore, the overarching lore in the beginning of the game. The invitation is another carefully crafted work of mine, much like the library. Think of it as a compass. It would be easier to understand it that way. Uh, a compass as in a tool that tells directions? That's right, the invitations will guide me towards the one book that I truly wish to obtain. Basically, she's been just fucking researching the shit out of everything in existence, as far as I understand. In, uh, the city. Fixers are basically freelancers that do whatever. The city is shit, though, so it's usually something related to combat, right? Yeah. Lobotomy Corporation, you meet, meet a bunch of fixers. Wait. So I don't know what that means. Andy, as you could clearly see by my Discord status, I was playing RuneScape when the stream started. I didn't look, I didn't look at that. Lobotomy Corporation is a management game. Libra Library Arena is a card game. Limbus is a coin game. Can you start the explanation over? I just joined. Did you do? No. It's already so long. Capitalist dystopia. God woman controls library. I stumbled into library. I'm her slave. Typical game. Typical Korean game. I I still don't know like what my job is. That's we're still figuring that out. Even my character's confused. A red invitation indicates that it can be sent to the special guests who will unravel the next part of the story. Until we register the books that match what the red invitation wants, our journey will be halted for a bit. But there's no guarantee that the guests will always respond to the invitation, right? In fact, there is. They're destined to come. And the guests will accept the invitation of their own will and enter the library. It's surprisingly light and fair for something that takes place in this city. My man do not trust anything this woman says. Most of the time, people's lives are taken away by others without any consent or agreement. Well anyway, once we get those books, what comes next? The library is a place of limitless possibilities. Even I cannot fathom the infinite space and power of this library just yet. That's why I wish to complete the library by filling that space with books. Korean is strange to listen to if you know some Japanese. It sounds like someone's fake speaking Japanese. Yeah, some, some stuff like that. There's also some similar words I hear, but they're usually like the useless words I know. Uh, and I will get in my hands the one perfect book that will complete me uh, and my library. The perfect book, huh? I suppose those books are different from the ones I know. Oh, it's here! This is like my favorite song from Millie. Okay, I guess we'll watch this. Do I have to keep speaking so it doesn't... I don't get... Fucked? That's me. Holy shit! Oh my gosh, I didn't expect them to show that. That's Lobotomy Corporation spoilers. Wow, they just really are showing all the Lobotomy Corporation spoilers. Buttering your eyes, man, it means they move around. He's <laughs> <laughs> buttered. <laughs> the reason she says buttered is honestly because it's Millie, so there's got to be a future uh, reference. Oh, gosh! 
see some familiar faces in there. Budget silent orchestra. <laughs> silent orchestra is such a piece of shit. <laughs> it's so easy, but so annoying. Okay, let's let's get into it. Oh. How could butter be real? Man, that text is so small. I formally invite you to the library, dear guest. The library's books can provide you with all the wisdom, wealth, honor, and power you seek. However, an ordeal will await you in the library. If you can cannot overcome this ordeal, you'll be converted into a book yourself. Angela. Books of the day. A reception begins by sending an invitation to guests whom you want to invite. You'll want to navigate to the question mark of this one to begin the process. Select the episode you like to play once upon a time. Books of the day. With this panel, you'll provide the set of books required to start the episode. Okay, book of something. What's up for grabs? This screen shows a list of books currently in the library's possession. Select the needed book now. Continue along the final preparations for this investigation. Jazz ordeal, it's all jazz, get used to it. When you're ready to send the invitation, confirm your choice with the send stamp. This, this already looks better than Lobotomy Corporation. Lobotomy Corporation, the UI just sucks ass and you can just fuck it up. I just constantly fucked up every screen all the time. Lick and stamp. You must yeah. actually lick your screen. When the work result was good? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I highly recommend Lobotomy Corporation. Just know that it is an investment. Like, there were days, like, those are the, the levels, and it would take me like one hour to beat a level. You guys sucked even more ass before they revamped it. I know, I was looking at some of the earlier art, and I was like, oh, this is gross. Yeah, that's the other thing you have to understand with Lobotomy Corporation. It is not, it's programmed well enough. It is good enough, but like I said, there's this one fucking girl I hate, and that's because she literally cheats. She, there's this one part, she's invincible, and you have to do all this shit to make her not invincible, and then, fucking, if she goes through a door, and she becomes non-invincible you can you can do it in such a way that she interdimensionally puts herself outside of space during this very critical time you're supposed to hit her and you can't do anything because they fucked up the game <laughs> so oh gosh i lost like five runs to that <laughs> fucking hate Bina so much <laughs> hey hurry up and scrap them up now i don't know why i talked like that those vi- those vi goons will arrive any second. I'm doing my best here. I just can't seem to get a clean rip of his guts. The contents of this guy are weirdly different. I've never even heard of a body modification procedure that does this. I think I'd rather watch you play Lobcorp than play it myself. I, I doubt it. I The way I play Lobcorp is not fun to watch at all. And I've already beaten it, so... I have no desire to go back. Something's off about these organs. They look really strange. Damn it, their footsteps are getting closer. Forget about clean cuts, just pull them out and take them. Rock Festival. Have you guys been to... Honestly, that's a shirt I would buy that just says Rock Festival. That's like those shirts that say College University on it. He's huge, that means he's gonna have huge guts. Oh, the other thing is people are like, Andy, you won't like Lobotomy Corporation because it's so dark and so depressing. It really is not. It's not that insane. It is, de it's not even depressing. It's just dark, but it's, for modern, for modern era of gaming, it's, it's just kind of run of the mill. Eh, 
Maybe a little above that, but it's whatever. At this rate, our heads are gonna get nicely chopped off our bodies. Why does he have this kind of stuff in his body? Whoever, just take him. We're out of time. Just get it done. Now run. Who the fuck are these people? Phew, that was close. Oh, this is in the back streets. You're a bold one, Pete. Going for a gut harvest in a territory ma managed by this fly. These are the only jobs we have left. We have to climb up by any means necessary, whatever it takes. The fuck is a finger of the back streets? More lore drop. So you have the city, right? The city's made of all these districts that are numbered and lettered. I don't know why they're numbered as well, but there's 26 of them, one for each letter of the alphabet. This game is very on the nose about like everything, by the way, but the back streets are like outside the city centers and that's where these fucks are. And it's very dangerous there. And there's these things called like the scrappers or something that just like cut up corpses. I don't think that these are those guys, otherwise I'd be calling them that. Hmm, finger. Fingers are like wings, but for criminals. Oh, okay. <sighs> That's the other thing. All the citizens really want to join the w wings generally, because they're seen as like, like everyone wanted to join Lobotomy Corporation because they're like, oh my gosh, I'll be successful in all this. And then you just go into hell. <laughs> or like this one girl joined Lobotomy Corporation and she dies on the first day. <laughs> They just, it's not her fault. They're just like, yeah, we're going to assign you to die. <laughs> I'll admit, it's rare to see someone with a dream these days. It's all the guts we hold first. We got to prepare enough cash to offer to the stray dogs. True, this could be our chance to join an urban legend class syndicate. Yeah. I love dark games. These games are good. Or Lobotomy Corporation's good. I can't speak for Limbus Company or this one yet. The only thing about Lobotomy Corporation is I was very surprised I liked it. You get really into it. Yeah. Hey, is this a joke? You sure you scrapped up the right stuff? Sweepers. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The guys that like just destroy cor corpses. Right? I don't even really know what they do. They just like carve up corpses and then they heal in Lobotomy Corporation. But also really fucking annoying. Andy forgot to make me a mod on the Discord too, so I don't care. Huh. Absolutely everything in Project Moon games are references to something. I told you this guy didn't have a single proper organ inside him. <laughs> I expect we still haven't played the game yet and it's been 45 minutes <laughs> i expected i i i didn't get to this part i didn't even know there was more what kind of game is this so far it's not a game <laughs> i expected entered soaked in drugs like in keflon or at worst more lore drop and keflon is something from lobotomy corporation that is like a it's a depressant it it relaxes you but if you fuck up, you die, or you turn into, I think you turn into an abnormality. It's very addictive as well. These are damaged too badly, it's almost like someone blew them up. We only doused them with anesthetics, didn't do no harm. This doesn't make sense, how could he have even walked around with these messed up organs? What if it's one of those? You know, rumors say there's a guy who skewers and threads people alive to turn them into dolls. Yeah, I've heard of that too. But look at the state of these things, not the case at all. I hear those dolls are made by threading flesh and bones together, but this son of a bitch didn't have any scars or stitches showing outside. Now I think about it, there was a round orange symbol on the back of his neck. I have no idea what that means. I thought it was a tattoo at first, <laughs> but he didn't seem like the type to have one. He was a desk working weeb. Symbols tattoo. Damn it. Please don't tell me we poked the wrong beehive.
Besides that, he also had this envelope in his body. The hell is an envelope doing in a human body? This keeps getting worse. Give me that. He uh, like has like a letter opener knife. What are those called? Letter knife? Is there a right beehive to poke? The one with a fuck ton of honey in it and no bees. I don't think the entire game's like this. They're just a lot of exposition in the beginning. Which, because I'm so into the lore, is fine. But I feel like this is... <laughs> books? We can get books from the library? What a bunch of nonsense. Yeah, you'll get fucking books from the library? What the fuck? What? The only people that go to library are nerds, and they like... I don't know, they just use the Wi-Fi or some shit. There ain't no books there. The entire game is like this. There's no game. It was a trick. Another Xeonis trick. There's, there's no game. There's just reading. And sometimes you get to fiddle with a UI, but the UI actually doesn't do anything. It just gives more visual <laughs> novel. It was a flop after all. The payment is due tomorrow. We've got seven hours to be exact. That's too little time for another run of gut harvesting. Also, there's no English dub. We're heading to the library as the invitation says. I don't know what this book thing is, but we're out of options. We gotta take any chance we can get. Isn't this just suicide? We don't know what kind of place it might be. Can't be any worse than dying to the stray dogs or to the Zweiss Association. We're screwed anyway. Show up and follow me if you want to live. So if I remember correctly, this is actually I learned from Limbus Company. Association employ is a huge like conglomerate that employs fixers. That's it. What was that we just saw? Fragments of an invitation process. So she just like put the letter in somebody and then they were like, shit, what the fuck? Books in the library? Shit, that ain't real. Let's go. <laughs> um. What are we talking about? First stream, is this guy good at games? Yeah, it's debatable. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm good at this game because this is my first stream of this game. And maybe my only stream, although it seems like there's a bunch of people here. Didn't take you for a peeping Tom. It's more convenient to know what kind of guests will visit us in advance, isn't it? Oh shit. Besides, this is the invitation's will, not mine. That's a splendid thing. Thing you got there, ma'am. Prize upon people and kidnaps them too. Perfect tool for crimes. Heck, if the invitation can do all that, why don't we just skip the whole reception part? Can't we just teleport them right into a room full of traps or something? I cannot do that. We can only take a peek when it has been decided that the guests are coming here of their own volition. And the invitation's power isn't wholly mine either. I'm simply borrowing it. Yeah, yeah, there's no way anything can go so smoothly in the city. They're desperate guests. Everyone in the fucking city is desperate unless they're already in a wing. And then they're just desperate inside the wing. Or they run the whole fucking thing. Tell me, was the invitation responsible for that symbol and internal damage well? As well? I want Angela's stuff on my hands. I am not a big fan of Angela. The, the end. I mean, Andy, you are doing good in English dub, dub, so why do we need one? I wish I understood how to be a, a good voice actor. I don't understand it myself. What? Not a chance? What? What? Sorry. Oh, what not a chance has anything to do with what happened. The invitation simply finds a way to those who need it. That means I want to play the game. That means those weird happenings were someone else's doing. I've never seen that kind of phenomenon back when I was a fixer. It's like something from the ruins. Name drop. 
You. Runes? I don't know a whole lot either. I've only heard stories of it. Should I describe it as magic? That kind of stuff exists in the ruins, apparently. In any case, we'll simply greet our guests. They seem to be low class, but oh well. Those are probably a bunch of lonely gangsters from the back streets. We call them rats. Half ass thugs that barely qualify as a syndicate. They don't have money or power. He secretly likes Baina. I like Baina's design. I fucking hate her as her gameplay. Any random streamer playing a Project Moon game will always summon the PM community from the woodworks. Usually they come to bitch that the streamer can't read. What does that mean? And he's learning Korean in order to meet his wife, Umili. She doesn't speak Korean. Also, she's Canadian. <laughs> but she lives in Japan. She can speak German, French, English, Japanese, Chinese. Her first languages were, were either Chinese or English, and then Japanese. <laughs> I could tell you, I can, I can go on. <laughs> I haven't checked in for a long time, though. I may have just roasted myself there. Oh, they're, they're losers who only think about making ends meet day by day. Hmm, may have just roasted myself here. Roasted. Man, the, the English translation team really went hard on this game. Lobotomy Corporation, that wasn't the best English translation, but it worked well enough. The back streets, I know of them. Could it? You do? Someone I know was from the back streets. Is that Enoch and Lisa? Right? They're the only ones from the back streets, I think. Well, it's nothing special, really. The back streets stretch all over the city like veins. I'm glad he said that, because that makes so... That really solidifies what I thought they looked like. Heck, it might be even tougher to find someone who isn't from the back streets. So this is a library. It looks fancier than I thought. Is this just a visual novel at this point? You just like play one card game. You play like one hand of poker and then it's another hour of reading. And Callie? Is she from the back streets? I guess. Oh, I, well, she's a fixer, but... I guess. Gabura. Could be a bunch of valuable things. Greetings, dear guest. This is the library. And I am, I am Angela. The librarian of my role's namesake. The librarian of my role's namesake. What, what is that sentence? Is that what they mean when you can't read? Enoch and Lisa are from outskirts. Gaburo is from the back street. Oh, okay. Is that the same Millie that sang the Goblin Slayer opening? Yep. You may find what you desire here, but you also may end up yielding your precious possessions to us. You're the owner of this place? Sorry. You the owner of this place? We're allowed to take whatever we want here, right? Indeed. You may earn books, to be exact. If you're able, of course. Are those book things really worth a lot, though? Do they literally not know what books are? I mean, I, I guess that's possible. But then, can they even read? They are the librarian of the library. Angela's a bit confused, just let her do her thing. <laughs> To be fair, it goes a lot faster when you're not for an audience. Yeah, true. Damn. Mang Chi. Beggars can't be choosers. We gotta cling on to anything we can find. That's how you tell us Korean has the hyphen. <laughs> or it says park. May you find your book in this place then. <laughs> um, 
up here, you can see... Do I have my cognition filter on? I didn't check. Up here, you can see some bare information. Bare information about the librarians who will participate in the reception. I thought the librarian was Angela because that's her namesake of the library. In this... We're popping now. In this section, you can... It's popping a little too hard. I can't read with music. In this section, you can view detailed information about the selected character. Underneath, you can check the list of combat pages, cards. The selected character will use in the reception. Rats. Peter's page. Info on the guests that have accepted the invitation to the library is shown here. In this section, you can view... Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same for them. Select this bar or press the relevant button to start the battle after you finish reviewing all the information. <laughs> why Why again do we have the Tree of Life? <laughs> Crown, Kether. Um, oh my gosh, there's so much information to know. I'm, I'm, do you see, look at... lost i can't get back i can't get back i can't get back to the main page oh there we go no <laughs> no please don't please don't yeah no oh gosh, no funny. skip the shit jeez okay give, just give me in give me in the game time to read it all again it's time to read See that the problem is I'm stupid. The text describes the ability of the page usually activated upon use. In combat, three types of offensive dice exist, each corresponding to a different damage type. See, this is what playing Lobotomy Corporation feels like, but then it's not as not that complicated. It seems complicated, but it's not that complicated. This icon. Man, playing Limbus Company actually kind of helps with this because I'm seeing a lot of the same symbols. This icon represents slash damage. When an offensive die with this icon is played, a slash attack will be performed. Likewise, playing an offensive dice with a pierce icon will perform a pierce attack. Lastly, offensive die. Okay. There's probably... They're just making it real dumb simple for me who's real dumb and simple. The ability of an action die written on its right may activate when the die is played <laughs> based on its condition. Most abilities activate when the attack hits the target or the die wins in a clash. Posing that you're right, this is a lot like Limbus, in that I don't understand anything that's going on. Right mouse button usually goes back. Yeah, I saw that. And you're giving me anxiety. During during battle, use combat pages. Using combat pages needs a resource called light. The amount of light a character has is indicated by the number of yellow icons above them. No, no, no wait. What is that? <laughs> shit? Oh. We only got a few hours. Let's get this over with. Why do these disappear? I don't need that. I'll do my best, and you'll do your best to fulfill our own responsibilities. When the scene begins, press the space bar to roll the speed dice. Gosh, it's like playing a board game at my friend's house. It's like millions of rules. A higher speed value offers the following advantages. If the enemy speed is lower than yours, you can redirect their attack to you. Um, okay, I guess I understand. <sighs> okay, can you high speed dollars to act first? Please select the speed dice on a librarian. Oh gosh. <clears throat> Is that see I thought this was a speed dice because it was the one that was 
blinking. Look at look at my face. This is librarian's combat pages. Select one of them. Now select the speed dice. Okay, I understand. Okay. By pressing Q or clicking on the icon, you can toggle quick mode. In quick mode, the action dice are rolled automatically during the battle, allowing the combat to play out smoothly. When quick mode is off, the player manually rolls the action dice in each engagement by clicking or pressing space. With this utility, you can automatically fill the librarian's speed dice with the combat pages in their hand. Automatically fill the librarian's speed dice with the combat pages. Targets are randomly determined. This makes... whatever. Okay. You can force someone to fight you if you have a higher number. Yeah. There are visual indicators showing who the librarians and guests are currently targeting for the attack. Why is it way over there? Showing who the librarians and guests are currently... Gosh, I, I think I sustained brain damage at some point after college. Visual indicators showing who the librarians... Okay, sure. Toggle them by pressing one, two, three. Enemies clashes librarians on the... Okay, I don't understand what that means. By pressing the space bar or clicking on the icon after the speed dice was rolled, you can begin the combat phase. Did I roll the speed dice? I don't even remember anymore. When you say roll, does that mean it's just... I'm just doing this action? least fucked up indie turn-based RPG controls. Don't worry, you'll get it. I know, Lobotomy Corporation felt like this as well, but then it, it really becomes very simple. I mean, it becomes simple to do the simple stuff, and then all the complex stuff is basically just memory. When only one of the two opposing characters has a dice to play, one side attack occurs. I, I just keep getting flashbacks to Limbus Company because it's like this, but like 50 times faster and you like click all this shit and then like a billion people fight at once and I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. This happens when a character targets an enemy or isn't targeting back. Oh, I get it. Only offensive die are played in one side attacks a different, yeah, sure, that makes sense. Oh gosh. When both players when both characters in an engagement have dice to play, a clash occurs. This usually occurs when the speed dice of two characters target each other. Retained defense dice or counter dice may also... Okay, yeah. Holy shit, I just cannot believe. I'm so glad I played one of this company today. It's very similar. In a clash, the results of the actions are determined by comparing their roles. Offensive role can deal damage equal to to the roll winning the clash. Um, interactions with defensive dice. Block dice. Completely blocks damage, deals stagger damage to the attacker by the difference in value. Losing a clash. Okay, oh, I see, okay, I see. So this is what happens in every scenario. So if you lose, mitigates incoming damage by the roll dice value. Okay, so it lessens. Deal stagger damage equal to the roll value. Okay, I don't really understand the difference between these two. Evade completely negates damage. The evade die is retained. Completely negates damage. The evade die is lost. Okay, I basically get it. I don't really need to know the specifics of that too much. 
I don't understand why I'm attacking these people, though. See, this is the problem with Limbus Company, too. I don't know, like, what the results of that uh, battle were. Have they covered a raise in tuples yet? What do they explain how to do case breaks schemes? Too long, didn't read. Bigger number wins and deals damage, yeah. You basically want to do at least three blood sacrifices so your dice... Your die don't roll jack shit. Dices. Dice. Because Angela told you to. But she made it sound way different. This is the Limbus Company fighting system, but good. That makes me feel... Yeah, it already feels better. A, a character may inflict or receive two types of damage, physical or stagger damage. Attacks with stagger damage will reduce the target's stagger resist. When the stagger resist hits zero, it will fall into a staggered state. So just like Dark Souls. Um, this is indicated by a broken speed dice. Okay. A staggered character will receive fatal damage from all forms of attack. I hate how they call it that, because that makes it sound like you'll immediately die, but you don't. Cannot act for the rest of the current and next scene. Cannot... Okay. Cannot restore light at the beginning of the next scene. Cannot draw pages at the beginning. Okay. Oh, fuck you. That, wait. Why is this? Why was that? Oh. What? What's going on? Do I not select this dice and then select this motherfucker? Is that not what I do? What's up with you? What's your issue? Why is the scroll so shit? What's your fucking deal, dude? You have to roll your speed dice first? The <laughs> no! <laughs> um, wait. Wait, wait. So why can't I attack this motherfucker? Okay, well. Oh, there we go. Charge and cover. What, what does that do? Tell me what it does. Oh, so it attacks and it has a block? Oh shit, that sounds good. Was that real? That didn't feel like a real thing. <laughs> oh, bye! Holy shit. Oh, but wait, that... Oh. It, yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. So I did the opposite of what I should have done. Book of Rats. Taking physical damage will decrease the character's HP, indicated by the red gauge. When the HP of a librarian or a guest is brought down to zero, they will die. Guests who meet their demise in the library will be resolved into books. The higher the guest's emotion level was, the more likely they are to yield books in greater, greater quantity or quality upon death. What, so, okay. Even if a librarian dies during combat, They'll rise again once the reception is over. Motherfucker, I wanted to read those. I didn't have much expectation for you anyway. Shouldn't go at you. I don't. I do not give a shit about what you have to say. What is that? I don't understand quick mode. Fuck. Um. What is my health? I look, I look, I look so sexy and fine. Um, sure. Get fucked. Ow. <laughs> I better not get impatient I, and get things done for certain. Psh, I didn't have much expectation for you anyway. That's the only thing I get to say. Guess this is, it. this is it for me. I didn't get to enjoy anything. You got to survive one more turn than your buddy, dude. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's big. That's huge. Why do I keep getting fucking ones? Get, get out of here. 
Am I using the same stick that the employees used in Lobotomy Corporation? Curtain call for the reception of space rats. Chad is getting hairy. Basically, the longer the fight, the more books you take. So basically, you just want to saw the fuck out of it. Three versus one GG, no re Chad. <laughs> It's best to turn quick off mode off for now, it mainly affects the combat space. You can check the books you have obtained from the reception here. I have so many rat books. If you fail the reception, this part will show the books you have lost instead. Uh, I, don't, I never want to lose. I don't want to lose my rat books, my collection, my library of rat books. Alright, the rest of this stream will be grinding 300,000 rat books. You can check the battle symbols your librarians have obtained from the reception here. Calling the curtains. Now it's time to conclude the reception and exit the stage. Let me look at my rat books. More reading! Yeah! Don't worry about losing, Andy. You have experience with it. Uh, I, I know you're trying to vibe me. But in, but I've been trained by Lobotomy Corporation. I could see every my entire game just fail, and it, I would just not. I I would not. <laughs> I would not react. <laughs> I mean, damn. This truly is the library of Ruina, as in ruining my eyes because so much reading. Lobotomite Andy hours. Game titled Library Look Inside Reading. I know. I wonder, is it so important for them to belong to a renowned syndicate? It's all part of city life. You don't have to belong to a group. By the way, is the sound good? The sound level? You have to belong to a group, be it a syndicate or anything else. Living in the city gets too rough otherwise. Or too tough. Whoa, whoa, that was a fast read. You can now select the floor of general works during reception. Cover. Started from the bottom. Now we're at the top. Now we're starting at the top and heading toward the bottom. Um, burn books. Cool. Like, <laughs> never mind. Uh, in this section, you can burn the books you have obtained. <laughs> you can see what the books in your possession have to offer before burning them. These books are also used for inviting the guests of subsequent episodes. So it is recommended to keep at least one copy in your possession. I see. Here you can check the list of items that can be obtained from burning the book. Oh, I get all of these. Or wait, do I? So why wouldn't I burn the book? How many books do I have? Do I have one book? It just said to keep one book. So should I not burn it then? Don't burn the rats. I'm confused, should I burn this book or not? I, because the game just told me not to burn it if I only have one. Always keep one book? Okay, that's what I thought. You have nine of them? I just saw that. Why doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because, like, I selected that, and then it says one book in total. It makes me think I have one book. Oh. Wait. How the fuck does this game work? What? <laughs> oh, gosh. It was a the gotcha mechanics? Come on, come on. I got everything except the... I'll, I didn't get the other thing. 
When you burn books on a floor, you get to see a lovely animation in that floor's color. And you may randomly obtain pages of that book. Burning a book deals yields different pages each time based on chance. Fucking I love gambling. I was just mesmerized by this character. It's hard to parse because there's so many fucking weird colors. There are two types of pages you may acquire. Key pages and combat pages. Key pages constitute a librarian's physique. They serve as equipment. Oh. Combat pages are the cards and techniques used by libraries in the battle. So, as I'm applying for technical writing jobs, I can tell you right now that this, which I assume is the key page, should be right here because that is the first that comes up and we read left to right, unless they switch all the UI and the arrows. And then the combat page should be right there. Um, <clears throat> the rarity of these pages ranges from uh, Zayn, Tef, <laughs> Wa, um, paperback, hardcover, limited to object the art. I've never seen that word. I don't think. What is a technical writing job? I don't fucking know, but I'm applying for them. <laughs> yes, that's the update. Read it needed. Gotcha. You can roll an infinite amount of combat pages, but only a limited amount of key pages. That is funny, because that's I already assumed that. Pages of higher grades are more powerful, though rare to acquire when burning books. So Angela's just letting me burn books? I thought she wanted to keep all the books. Also, key pages have a set limit of how many can be owned at once, depending on the rarity. Where do I see the... Okay, so I have... To... Wait, so I have two Pete pages. Never mind. Obje Dart. Obje Dart. Aside from the obvious, the rarer it is, the better it is. Yeah. Wait, so how do I have two of these? Where does it say the... The limit? It's not a joke that was in an interview. I thought you were saying that's not... Oh, you're saying that. I thought you were saying Neko's question was not a joke, it was an interview. Andy, if you can't define the title of the job, they probably aren't going to like the cover letter. My man, you don't, you don't need to know what the job is. You think I knew how to, well, I did know what EEG signals were. You think I know how to do diagnostic EEG when I applied to be a neurodiagnostic EEG technician? Fuck no. I just made shit up when I got the job. It's the same I do for every color cover letter, and it works eventually. <laughs> Andy actually accidentally signed up to be a PMC. Okay, there we go. Don't just burn all the books. Hell yeah! I get to see this lovely animation in the floor's colors. Oh my gosh! So I can only get a certain amount of these, but I have a million now. Please move over to this panel and select the librarian on the floor to move it to the combat page list. Neko, as I understand it, the technical writing is a lot about dumbing things down and writing manuals and like technical guides on very complicated subjects and just making things easier is what a lot of it i've read about it is it also has to do with like graphic design wait what did you say fun fact ruina's early access was used to get the company used to releasing used to releasing content on a live service schedule before linda's company Oh. But then they're saying Limbus Company is to fund the next game, so they're just like perpetually making games in order to make the next game. Seems like your kind of thing. I do enjoy writing 
sort of that stuff. But, uh, yeah. And he has a lot of experience being dumb, so it's a perfect fit. I know. I go to things and I'm like, this is way too fucking complicated. This is stupid. Why don't you write it better? That's the thing I learned from being a scientist, is that none of them can fucking write except me. And I can't even write that well, but I can write better than most scientists. What did she- th what did it tell me to do? What? Skitter away. Take 13 of those. Seeds floor my head. What? What, what what did it tell me to do? What? I got distracted. Okay, why? I don't understand. Here's why I don't understand. Why do I have two of the same? Why do I have this and this? Why do I have two? Why do I have two of these? I don't need two. I just need one. I just need one. I don't need to. Light defense. What am I, a fucking light boy? I don't need this. Do that. Okay, again, why can't I take it from this UI? It's for consistency's sake? What? I don't need it. Make a better UI. Okay, none of this means anything to me right now. Um, what a wonderful collection. This is a list of key pages currently owned by the player. Cool. Oh, okay. So these are all the same, right? Oh, I have five of each. Okay, so that's the max, I assume, but it still doesn't say that anywhere. Man, these guys suck ass. So what's my base then? Here you can customize your librarian's appearance and dialogues. Is it actually gonna customize my appearance though in the cutscenes? You can check the battle symbols in the librarian's position here. You can jump from the librarian information tab to the combat pages tab. The panel on the bottom right just displays, displays the same things, just use the, inter the interface on the left. Because you can't, you just can't. And he had one chance he let it slip. What are you talking about? I, I can resolve a Taylor series, but if you ask me to write an essay, I'll actually die. <laughs> You'd, th you'd think, as a scientist, that I'd be better at figuring these games out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In the customization, you can edit your... Uh, please enjoy creating your nuggets. <laughs> it's a little too fourth wall breaking. Can I actually change Roland? <laughs> oh, Angela's Roman. I don't have to spend money for this. Parents and projection, body size, make me large as fuck. I, I think I just want to keep the base for now, because... Go put me back to the other page. Where is it? Name and title. Library Roland. What? Determine Roland. No. Fuck not. Okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> Let me change the name.
It's almost Challenger Andy, but instead it's Angela's Challenger. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Okay, uh... Yeah, I know, I was already here. Oh, there's the... I don't know why I didn't see it before. Okay. Oh! So this is literally better. This is just literally better. That is literally better in every single way. <sighs> yeah, sure, yeah, no. Panel shows that, yeah, yeah, just fucking, yeah, I know. E equip it. Yeah, uh, what do you mean unequip? It's not equip. It's oh, that's favorites. Equip. There, I'm fine. Okay, that that is just better because it's the same. It was the same here, but it just had better stats. Oh my gosh. pages Jeez fuck. Okay. I I got it. I got it. Lenny's What do you mean? Just, just give me give me one of everything. at the invitation. Obtain the book of <gasps> Credenza. Malkuth! Um, in Credenza you can read and review various story elements. Press each tab. Okay. This is just re-watching stuff, isn't it? Click on the group of guests and click on the episode. Recall story. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is also for reading stuff. You have nothing. There's Angela. Okay, okay. Invitation. Got it. Okay, got it. Got it. Is this a weeb game? No, it's a Korean stupid game. Um, <laughs> oh, give me that fucking book of... Hmm? Wait, these fuckers are still here? I thought I killed them. You can farm, remember? Is this just the same exact thing? Is it- wait, is this the same exact thing? Oh! <laughs> okay, got it, got it, got it. Wait, so how did I get there before? Was I- Books don't grow on trees, they grow in fields. Man, there are a lot of Project Moon guys here. <laughs> I have no idea what I just did, but I can send this invitation now. Oh. Oh. You can offer books manually or click the icons for a guide to them. I don't know what that means. Laura <laughs> jump scare. Before I watch your souls videos before I typically lurk even if I watch something live. Look at those shadow people. <laughs> Foiled again. I didn't go through all the trouble of becoming a fixer to do mundane chores like this. You know how it is. Only a select few get to rise up in the ranks. But still, we might see the light one day. What light are you talking about? If we start out with smaller tests, don't you see? Oh, the light's already gone. I forgot about that. I envy your optimism, Finn. 
I keep but a request like please find my lost cat before night falls is seriously not it i'm surprised that they even have cats in this fucking city you'd think they'd all be obliterated the cat is probably nothing there in some uh, like fucking atrocity and they're like find my cat and it's just like a fucking insane thing that's gonna kill everyone Garbage offices get garbage requests. Shit. I thought when I joined the garbage office, I wasn't gonna get do garbage requests. Well, maybe if I do this library office, maybe I get to do like, you know, I eat ice cream. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> that guy's voice. Yeah, Finn, you probably had better things in mind when you became a fixer. You know, a bigger field to play on. Cats are just built different. Find my cat and don't get killed by it. I'm sure I can move to a nicer office or become an associate fixer someday if I keep working hard. Then I might. That's odd. There's this envelope in my pocket. It says, The Invitation. It smells fishy. Like a cat. Can't overlook something like this. That's such a weird... <laughs> that is such a weird thing to say. Besides, if what's written on the invitation is true, those books would be of interest to several associations. It, isn't, it is interesting, but we don't exactly know what's in the library, right? No one, literally no one in this world understands what books or libraries are. They they might know what, they might know like a library is a building, but damn, they're shocked when they're like, what the hell are these? And they're, they're like books and they're like, the fuck is a book? And, and everyone is just shocked. They, they just, they don't understand what books are. We should report this to the office first and take care of it formally. I ain't about to feed a garbage office that won't feed me garbage. We're going, to first, we're going first if you don't want to. I joined the garbage office to eat garbage. And so far, I have only been getting garbage jobs. They have not provided me my daily sustenance of garbage. They call themselves fixers. Do you happen to be friends with them? What? Look, assuming all fixers know each other is uh, fucking cringe and stupid, you ignorant bitch. It's like picking two random pedestrians and hoping they know each other. Your question is basically asking- Let me go on and on how fucking stupid you are, Angela. Your question is basically asking these two strangers, you're both human, so you must know each other, right? You get what I mean? Sorry, I should expect to see many different kinds of fixers if what you're saying is true. Library of Arena fans when they go to the local library and burn books instead of gaining cool outfits. But instead of gaining cool outfits, they get arrested. They can't see the library for the books. Did not expect to see a Arena stream from Andy. I gotta eat Michigan's day of the week. I need to, I need to, I'll get that tomorrow, I'll get that line, I'll replace the donation sound with that. <laughs> That's right. Every day of the week I'm eating garbage! Oh gosh. Game lags. Hey, these are on the same level as you, man. Why is this guy, like, cringing out? He's got a stomach ache. Oh, fuck me. Gosh dang it. My hands are so shaky. You guys ready to read all of that again? I have no idea what this... I have no idea what I'm doing there. Cool. Yes, go. Fun fact, this used to be, this used to be the hardest fight in the game. I mean, uh, we went from rats to fixers already. I don't know what rank 9 or grade 9 means. Positive emotion points. Gained upon winning a clash or having advantages in battle. Defeating an enemy. Okay. As emotion levels of characters rise, the overall emotion of the teams they belong to will be heightened. When you're... 
when your team's emotion level goes up, you may choose an abnormality page to use at the beginning of the next scene. An abnormality page? <sighs> I talked big, but this may have been a bad idea. Should be more fun looking than looking for a lost cat, at least. Why this has no right to make me nervous. Oh, you said turn this off. <laughs> you fools! You fucking fools. Wait, why are they... Oh. Oh. No, 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 wait, wait, hold on. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Use multiple cards at once? Oh, I see. It's just not very good AI. Why is this arrow bi-directional? Fuck. I don't understand. What? what what's going on? What's up? Huh? Yeah, go. Why didn't I win? I don't understand. Quick evade their evade. You have quick mana. Bi-directional means you're kissing. Shows you're clashing with the other guy? I thought I had a higher speed roll than this asshole. Oh, I guess they're going after me though. Rolled lower? He had a fucking three- he had a two and I had a three. What do you mean? He's about to get my dirty blow. She is. How close will they get? If I just keep waiting. How close will they get, you think? That's how close they will get. Did you see that little fucking thing? That appeared so fast, I have no idea what it said. When you don't do the QTE, you can't fail? What QTE? His evade. Dice rolled higher than your attack dice. It's very confusing at first. Gah, I don't understand. Fuck. Do I understand what this does? Maybe. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I see. Okay. And that's why it's important to have quick mode turned off so you understand what the fuck's happening. They're both gonna kiss you at the same time. And he's gonna get filtered live. I will not get filtered. What the f what the- stop that. I- I- I don't understand these arrows at first. Inflict, bleed next scene, inflict. I should have used. Why can't I use this? For the scene, take X damage and subtract one third of the stack every time. What the fuck does that mean? Can just just kill this idiot. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> I didn't even know I could roll five. Cost too much light. What, ow. what do I have to die with this? You're joking, right? Are you dead for real? It's an important question to ask in this this world.
Where's my light again? Is this my... No. Emotion coins, what the fuck? Max light plus one. Above your speed dice? Oh. This is me take X damage or who? It doesn't say who. Whatever. I don't really understand, but we'll see. Ugh. Okay. I, I sort of understand what I'm doing. I, just get the fuck out of here. You just leave me alone. I want to climb higher than this. Oh, I wanted to. But why do they have a space here? They are, they get rid of that space. Don't worry, it only gets more complicated. Of course Andy went to a game where you need to roll a die. He just can't stop spam rolling. That, that's a good one. That's good. Curtains close. This game looks a lot nicer than Lobotomy Corporation. Fuck, I wanna burn books. I don't know why I wouldn't burn all but one. Oh my gosh, what a lovely animation. Thrust, 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 thrust. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Uh, give me... Uh, yo, 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 yo. Empty bookshelf. <sighs> I thought that was like a name or something. I, I'm stupid. Dodge and strike. Evade? Yeah, I'll do an evade. Yeah, I'll do one of these. I'll do one of those. I'll do one of those. A wallop? Oh, fuck yeah. Um, maybe. Sure. Crazy looking fella. I mean, right now, literally none of this matters except the top stats for me. His favorite pages. Oh, that's what I need. I need that. It makes more sense. Okay. Good, 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 good. Go, 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 go. I want to read more. This game is great, still a tutorial. Slay the Spire or Dicey Dungeons. I don't know any of those. <laughs> what a lovely animation gets flashbang. <laughs> Yo, this game is peak, the gameplay. <laughs> I mean, Lobotomy Corporation is nutty too at first. I do not, wait. Yeah. Y yes. Yeah. Uh huh. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. No, I pressed the fucking thing again. Go. 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 Sir, they still haven't responded back to us. Those two shadow figures. What were their names? Question mark and double question mark. That one guy that said he wanted to eat garbage all day. They still haven't. Yeah, they still haven't returned. You think they found garbage in that library? Something must have happened in that library. Plenty of fixtures disappear without a trace. Whether they died or ran off, further lack of response means violation of contract, which means no garbage for them. 
Jingle Fixer jingle. one and Fixer two. Fixer, I hardly know her. And there is too little evidence to back up your claim about this invitation. <laughs> Wait a minute. Sorry, hold on. What's this? <laughs> a door appeared out of thin air when they signed the paper and they w disappeared into that? Could be rich people shenanigans. All oh, those rich people always saying they're going through doors and shit and becoming clairvoyant and clear and all that shit. Those rich people doing that shit and saying that they're going to the temple and trying to escape to Silicon Valley and all that shit and bullshit and rich people bullshit. Could be... <laughs> or a wing experimenting with its singularity. You forgot to make your deck? What do you mean? Yeah, I did. I made my deck. I made my deck. Because I cleared it, and then I made the deck. Don't really finish the tutorial until you reach Urban Nightmare. Could argue you don't truly finish the tutorial until the second last fight. Yoon's office does not have any time to spare with things like that. I might still be a grade 9 fixer, but I can sense something's off about this. Dude, everything in this fucking world is off. Oh really? How tragic that such good instincts of a grade 9 fixer are wasted on our humble office. Listen up, you little fucking shit. In this city, insane events happen every second of the day. I know, that's what I'm saying. What, are you just born in this world? Fuck out of here. Most of which you haven't even heard of. You won't have time to be feeling off about something when there's numerous other things that need your attention. If you can't present visible evidence right now, it's not worth looking into. What about that envelope right in front of you, operator? To some rich person magic trick. You can't trick me into joining Scientology, you fuck. What? What? You little fucking shithole trying to pull a tr cheap trick on me? Man, the English dub went nutty with this. I didn't do anything, I swear. Get out for a moment. Oh. <laughs> Chink. <laughs> That's the sound of his phone. Holy shit. The whole world is an RPG maker game because it's off. But Chandy, if everything is off, then those things would be normal. Society. Each key page holds their own deck. <sighs> Got a good lead this time. Let me some cash so I can hire a few. <laughs> no, seriously. I have a good feeling about this. He started breathing so hard. True, it can end up failing like you said. I can check just one more time if you want. Yes, it is an envelope. I'm not exactly fond of this method, but... Yep, I have one guy fit for the job. Seems fixers must report to their office before they can even begin working. Isn't that guy's name fucking Yoon and that is the office? Well, that's formerly the case. I could bypass that since I ran a one-man office, though. Fixers aren't any better than syndicates when it comes to green. And it looks like this guy's trying to exploit a naive kid, too. So this is the library. Yeah, you said we might even get a sponsorship from an association if I succeed. I'll do my best. Greetings, Fixer. I am Angela, the librarian of the role's namesake. The librarian of my role's namesake. Well, I'm Finn, a Fixer at Yoon's office. Is it true that I can find <laughs> books <laughs> containing lots of information in this place? Sir, what the fuck are you talking about? We're a library. Yes, of course. You were given the invitation for that exact reason. May you find your book in this place. So, like, what does that mean? They just, like, see me and they're like... You're my book, motherfucker. And then they attack me? Like, what's going on? Dude, my dick is killing. <laughs> okay, good, I can do this here.
There we go. Oh, I gotta get wallop in there, though. No. We serve food here, sir. Card select ASMR. I'll beat these guys and prove myself to the operator. Why is the why is the control so shit? It's like such low sensitivity. Music is like faster than normal, it feels. Tremble in the eternal pits of. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit, I'm trembling. Dude, this guy's gonna get fucking walloped by me. <laughs> he's almost dead. <laughs> and he's staggered. Um, hit him with the dirty blow. Fuck him up. <laughs> I just managed to become grade 9 too. This stupid fucking kid got two turned. Boss, you killed the child? <laughs> Trying to entertain these guests. <laughs> what the clap? <laughs> My ass cheeks keeps killing children. <laughs> anyway, let's let's close those curtains. <laughs> oh boy, it's not at all delightful to see such a young rookie get two turned like that, all things considered. But you know, I just had to hit him with that wallop. You know that that wallop. <laughs> Wallop or Andy. So, is this Finn guy dead forever? No, he'll live on as a book that I will burn <laughs> for, for more cards, for more collectible trading cards. I need my cards. <laughs> you said you're- don't worry, we'll always keep one copy of them for reasons I can't remember. We don't burn that copy. You said yourself that our way is quite polite and fair before, didn't you? <laughs> the kid walks in. Hey, I, I, I heard I can get some books here. A wallop! <laughs> he just gets fucked. <laughs> he just wanted to read. He didn't want power or any of that. He didn't even want wisdom or knowledge. He just wanted a good fairy tale to get out of the shit city for a second so he could escape. This place seems nice, it's all full of light. Instead he gets hit by the wallopa. He gets walloped by the wallopa. <laughs> Can I change my title to Angela's Walloper? <laughs> he sure stamped his library card. That most of the time people's lives are taken away by others without consent or agreement. The library is different. People who enter this place have agreed to risk death, death to gain what they want. They even signed the paper to show such agreement. The paper just says sign here, says nothing else. Burn, not worse, you can wear him as a nice suit. It's true. No coercion or compulsion is involved in this process. They make their own choice and pay accordingly. I bet you choose people that, like, will definitely succeed at, or definitely sign it though. Still kind of feels dirty in a way. I don't know, I, I, Angela's kind of got a point with this one. They just, it just doesn't say in the contract that you'll meet the walloper of Ruina. Each floor will present you with a set of assignments. Complete the assignments to unlock an abnormality battle. Battle against abnormality will become available. Clarion abnormalities will raise the floor's realization level. D disillusion? 
this is the library's current hazard level as perceived by the city. Um, raising the realization level of each floor will increase the library's presence as a threat. The library's hazard level will rise once the gauge is filled. Is that when they're gonna send the fucking fixers after me? Or the arbiter? The claws? Book of Finn. Here we go, we're burning them. See, look, Finn's living on. He's just a card. He's a page. He gave me some more wallops. Book of rats. Um, I guess let me... Oh, wait, hold on. When an ally dies, gain one strength next scene. I have no allies. I only have me. I... I really don't understand this. I don't understand this part right there. I don't really get it. Wear his skin? It's not better, though. Finn has failed as expected. He wasn't gonna last too long anyway. He was just mediocre. He could have gotten decent modification. He should have gotten decent modification surgery. Or had enough talent to make up for his lack of experience. But he didn't have any of that. He was nothing more than an overconfident brat. I don't know if he was that overconfident, but... Whoa, her voice is... sounds far different. Too bad, I kind of liked his affable and cutesy attitude. Though I agree, he was bound to die sooner or later. Congratulations, by the way. You must have more options now that you're a grade 8 fixer. Yep, you better be careful. If you don't pay me well enough, I might move to another office. You got, I gotta get my daily garbage. So, so, shun, shin, so, see, say, shu, sa, what does she mean by this? Heard you're barely covering your own taxes these days. Let alone the monthly rent for this office space. Am I wrong? I couldn't even like fake Korean. Like I have no idea the sounds or any part of it. I believe the case I had Finn handle could make a breakthrough. You mean the library and the invitation you talked about earlier? But you said the invitation appears randomly, no? How are you going to get another one? I wouldn't have called you if I didn't have certainly. Certainty. I've recently received another invitation. Mm, is that so? The existence of our office depends on this case. The library is sure to be profitable. I have a hunch, so we're giving it everything we have. Aight? Let's roll in some dough. I just bought this lovely thing here from a workshop, too. There's still taxes in this role. There's super taxes for everything. Yeah, Spearhead, the, the, this is a hyper-capitalistic society. It's like endgame capitalism. These guests seem quite determined. We should prepare accordingly. Whole office coming at us, huh? Maybe a small and significant. Maybe a small and insignificant one, but it could prove to be a little tough for the library right now. What if they make it all the way to your room? The guests cannot. Ex the guests cannot act outside the space we prepared for them. That's how this place works. Also, if you break the law, you're ultra fucked. Oh, basically, yeah. Unless you break it good enough. If you break it good enough, you can get away with it. Yeah. But then, yeah, if you break the law bad enough, they fucking send Bina. And, and then she cheats her way and destroys your entire facility. After all, this space is created with li limitless power. Yet you somehow jumped right into my room when you weren't even invited. 
Anyways, I'm capable of protecting myself, so there's nothing for you to worry about. I like that she cut her hair. I like the symbolism of that. Greetings, dear guest. Must be the owner of this place. She doesn't even look that strong. Finn must have been here earlier. What happened to him? Ah. Uh, that one has become a book. I see, so you turn into a book if you die here. Acting all sentimental when you were the one who sent him here, knowing he'd fail? Shut up, we all get exploited and banned at some point in our lives. May you find your book in this place. So how many city-destroying characters are there in this game? Well, a bunch of the abnormalities can fucking destroy cities and there's like at least 24 of those that could destroy the world or cities i'd say anything that's like wa or higher from lobotomy corporation can like destroy a city and then the aleph's can destroy fucking worlds as far as like city destroyers that aren't abnormalities i mean there's like who knows? There's there's a bunch of them. Actively during gameplay? In this game, I don't know. In Lobotomy Corporation, there's like... I bet any of the, the white fixers... Or not the white fixers, the... The white ordeal fixers could fuck up a city. So there's like 10 people at least. Some receptions, and then I mean, and then from my facility, technically there's about a hundred guys that can destroy a city because they're all just fucking max level. Remaining axe. So I missed that. I kind of don't understand what's going on. Floors available. I have no more librarians, though. So, he's like, it's gonna be hard for the lib- It's really just him, it's the Wallopa. There's a lot of stuff that could wreck like a normal city, yeah. I mean, if it was like, generally unimpeded. The- the wings? The wings, all the corporations? Or there's like, there's a thing called the head, which I don't exactly know what they are. But, they basically fuck things up hard. Let's buy some time, I'm too scared to fight them head on. Is the operator coming here or not? Ah, oh, crap. This guy just says like, useless shit I don't care about. Alright, you idiots. Slash of a grade 9 fixer. What a sick move. Oh, oh, they're getting walloped. They're getting fucking walloped. Get walloped. Shit. Fuck. Can I pull another wallop? Fuck. Ooh! <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's probably best if I do this. So... What I don't understand is I can... Oh, I can see what they're gonna do? I don't understand what that does. Th that's the part I don't understand. You should have done the Avno fight before this? I didn't know I could. Fuck. Wait, what? I get to dodge two attacks? I don't get that part. Oh, 
Oh, you're getting fucking walloped. Shit! No more wallops. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Shit. Fuck out of here. Almost in every turn based game I play, like multi enemies, it's always like boils down to just get rid of the weakest guy first so you have less shit to deal with. Almost every game I play. It never goes further than that. Wait, you're still alive? I thought you fucking died. You're gonna try and wall up me? <laughs> I don't fucking think so. Um, I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> no! Oh! 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 <laughs> you should have two guys right now, by the way. I, I have no gut. No. My book. We just have to take the stuff and leave, right? My book. Wait, I just realized. So I have no more books? No, I still have. So they didn't take anything off me, though. The red exclamation mark. Oh, okay. We have to kill Finn again? He's gonna get walloped. Uh, you seem to be doing your job meekly and... Well, for someone who complains so much. What else do you expect after greeting me in such a violent manner? Heck, I was shocked hard. I find myself in the middle of nowhere. The first person I meet is a beautiful blue woman who rips off my arms and lies to me and, and tells me my life is worthless. I was lost at first, but I get the gist of receiving guests now that I've tried a few times. All I gotta do is wallop them. Though I do still have a complaint. Complaint? Sheesh, man. Again with that stare. Can't say a thing. Just tell me what you mean. I mean, well, it's kind of tough to receive all the guests alone. Guests arriving one by one I can deal with. But when a whole group enters, the first thing that comes to my mind is, huh, how the hell am I supposed to fight all of them? I don't know why my accent changed. There's got to be a point where one person is no longer enough, right? It's only working right now because we've been facing off minor... All we've been facing were minor syndicates and stuff. And the whole fuss about heightening emotions? You said I can't just kill guests right away because of that? <sighs> I'm streaming. I don't have time to grind this shit. What's that odd face hinting at? There is a way, technically speaking, though I'm not certain if it's for the best. You're gonna join in the fights yourself? No. There are entities that could be of help, however. And those entities are the beings that used to wield tremendous strength and power, but are now too transient to maintain a physical form, hardly holding on to existence. Why are they? I don't remember seeing any living being in this library other than you and me. They're asleep inside books where the perfect environment is simulated, along with librarians who will be of assistance to you. I see a Neko. Have a good night. Lamau, imagine Angela actually doing work for her own goals. I mean, she can't do work in Lobotomy Corporation, technically. Here she finally- Yeah, here she finally can do what she wants, and she's like, Fuck that shit, nah. I manipulate and desecrate. 
Uh, along with the librarians will be of assistance to you. Librarians, entities inside books, that's all you need to know about them for now. What matters more is that they'll be useful for the library's group. She did claim she could school these nerds, nerds if they ever got to her room. Yeah, I wonder what she means by that. <coughs> All right, let's say that's the case. How are those sleeping entities supposed to help us exactly? You have to enter their books and free the librarians trapped within them. I believe they're under the influence of the abnormality's power for various reasons. So they just say in my employees, my previous employees at the corporation got made into books along with abnormalities. You have to enter this uh, yeah. Since they're highly unstable, they won't easily trust us. You're basically saying they'll take us for invaders. Correct. If you can overcome all the ordeals pre presented by them, they'll come to accept you. Instructions still unclear, ma'am. Dick stuck in blender. You said they are as mighty as wet paper now. You sure they can give any help? We are not making the abnormalities receive guests for us. If they can be understood and accepted, they will empower the librarians directly or indirectly. How does that work? I Still too ambiguous, I've got to say. Anyhow, what you're saying is that they'll present us with our deals. Basically, we have to overcome them to earn the recognition of their powers. She basically already said that all in one message. Entering books sounds like something out of a fairy tale. We'll need their power to heighten the emotions of our de guests to the peak, after all. I wish you success in there. You got any agents you liked from Lobcore? This has a much better customization system from Lobcore. I do. Like I said at the end of the stream, would you like to enter the book of Bloodbath? Yeah, attachment. That's not Bloodbath. Um. Bam, 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 bam. Um, yeah, I'll show my- I have a video of all my, uh, and agents, and I'll- I'll show them quick. I just realized I won't be able to manipulate the video, but... Uh, what did that say? Fuck. How many failures must I bear until you're satisfied? Observing the opponent. Click on the character. There's Bloodbath. Looks different than I remembered. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Fatal... Oh, okay. I like how it has lobotomy core, like, music, uh, corp musics. Music parts. Each character... Yeah, 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 I get it. List of passives. Takes one to five... Lose three speed. Boost the max value of block dice by three. When you observe a character, you can also check the resistances to very various damage types. So... So... Don't slash them. So I can't... Wait, hold on. Is that slash? W what is that? That looks like a slash to me. How is the wallop a slash? Lobotomy core. Is this blunt? It looks like slash. Oh, 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 he's, we're gonna kiss? He's not even ready for the wallop. And the, oh gosh, he got way more block. Can you stand this deep despair? Oh, if I have wall up on my side. <laughs> no. What the fuck is this double arrow shit? <laughs> I get wall up. <laughs> he 
He's not even ready for me to wallop. Oh, I don't understand how this is bloodbath. It doesn't. I don't get it. That's slash. Oh. You're not even ready for my dirty blow. Easy, easy. Guess I should be thankful. Why, why won't it let me read that? Really walloped that abno. Nike slash explosions are blunt, bullets are pierce. Okay. You're supposed to approximate with the Taylor series, Andy, then you integrate it for the approximation. I don't know what that shit means. Why is there always a space here? Fuck off. You're not allowed to read in here. This is a library. Yeah, we only wallop little kids and burn them after we turn them into a physical book. You came in here to read? What are you, a fucking nerd? One assistant librarian has awoken. Do I have to pay extra money to do that? Unbearable. Congratulations, you have been awarded unbearable depression that overwhelms all who look into the bath. Very nice. Scars? That's not... Well, I guess it is. Uh, I don't... I don't care until I use them. Whoa. She looks pretty neat. Library newbie, Michaela. Oh, <gasps> yum yum! No way. You get to pick her dialogue? I, I do not give a shit about that. Oh my gosh, they really do have a lot, a lot of customization. Saturate her skin color. Um, see how this works that's kind of lame and the other one you could choose like <laughs> you could choose like exactly what you want perfect avoid what are you a tree what appearance projection what the fuck does that mean What is it? What is this? Literally projecting. I remember a boss named Yum Yum in Star Tropics 2. You can customize it to say get walloped. Shadow person. <laughs> Go back to John discoloration? No, I've already decided on shadow person. Basically just vanity? What does that mean? Transmog. You can set the appearance of the character regardless of the page equip. You mean if I like select this, it's gonna overwrite everything? <laughs> I like. I like fixer number one. Wait, I can customize this. no way they have copied 
they don't. No, 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 no. Oh, that's all I can put. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> really, I need to change Fixer 1 to be someone else because now this guy's just the Walloper. So once I get another character, they'll become Fixer 1 and this guy will be the Walloper. <laughs> yeah. I am the Walloper. Wallop, 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 wallop. I fear the eternal agony and separation from God. Well, damn, bro, should've walloped. Get walloped. Fucking incredible. Nah, I should, nah, we gotta make, we gotta make walloper. <laughs> the entire deck's just wallop. Um, we'll make, I like shadow person, but we'll save that for someone else. Oh, whoops. What does Walloper look like? What does- what does Walloper look like? No. Need to change the mouth. This is- oh, there's only 15. This is less customization. That looks like a wall for bit. Because in Lobotomy Corporation, you can like select all these individually. <laughs> wallop, wallop. I fear the ag eternal agony of separation from God. Wallop. <laughs> Bro, Andy's going to make a strength stacking build a wall for the end of the game. Bosses. <laughs> they don't like die permanently, right? What what skin color is the <laughs> what skin color is the walloper? <laughs> I The eyes make her look like she's high. <laughs> green? Like that green? Gotta change the eyes. <laughs> that That's too... That's too... <laughs> I use this face. Uh, that's pretty good. The, they just reused a lot of the stuff from Lobotomy Corporation. It's kind of sad. It's just that, like, slightly different. I, I think I like the dots better. The, the <laughs> walloper. Bro, why are you so green? Feeling a nice orange? Should have... have... She should have blue skin and black hair for maximum bruise imagery. And black hair. Oh, eyebrow. <laughs> oh, this one's pretty... Ah, uh, that looks too much like a shark. And I start... And now I'm feeling a yellow. I'm feeling a good yellow with this face, to be honest. 
It's because you're supposed to be able to recreate your agents from LobCorp. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. Although I I'm too I'm too attached to the walloper idea right now. I was gonna say, what's it what's it gonna do? That's racist. That's racist? I'm feeling yellow right now. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I understand. Bangs. This this was always really hard. Every time I did this part in Lobotomy Corporation, I had to like look away and then look again to like understand how it worked to get I don't know. I, I think that I think that might be the walloper. I I think that's the walloper, right there. <laughs> Looks like a Lego person. Oh, I have to change. Can I change the sex, or can I not? How do I change this outfit, or is that just the the permanent outfit? Oh, the, no, the walloper has to be fucking huge. No sex allowed, Andy. Oh, shit. Bald is awesome. That's right. The walloper... The walloper has to be male, but it doesn't look like... I've already decided. Each floor has its default outfit. If I concentrate hard enough, that doesn't look like a skirt and stockings. It's fine. <laughs> Damn, bro. Shit, <laughs> Walt. <laughs> oh, oh, great. Um, you need Yoon's key page? It'll be perfect. But that doesn't change. This changes, like, the entire appearance, right? <laughs> he doesn't fit in the frame. <laughs> um. Uh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. He's, we gotta get more wallop, wallop attacks. Dirty blow is a pretty wallopy attack. Um. A dollop a wallop, maximum wallop page. You haven't fought Yoon, you'll understand when you see when you see him. Okay. <laughs> so So what did I lose? I just lost a book, right? So I have to get... So I have to redo this, people were saying. I don't really get that. Roland, are you okay there? <laughs> Being right next to the walloper. <laughs> oh, that's right. I was trying to think because I've said wallop in uh, one of my other streams. It was during Horizon Forbidden West. You got the Walloper of Meridian. 
Losing battle means you lose the books you used to start it. So why do I need I why do I need Finn? Oh, oh, he's gonna get walloped. When your emotion levels team, when your team's emotion level goes up, you may choose an abnormality page to use at the beginning of a scene. There are two types of abnormality pages, awakening, which is blue, and breakdown, which is red. Awakening pages typically consist of purely beneficial effects for the user. Breakdown pages offer powerful effects that will come with drawbacks. Each floor offers a different set of abnormality pages to choose from. And the likelihood of each type of page being presented depends on the range, the ratio of positive and negative emotion points that the team has built up. <laughs> on the wallop! Oh. Oh, my, my friend, I'm sorry. But it, you're getting walloped. Oh, my friend, you're getting a, a double walloped. Oh, shit. Fuck. Damn, the walloper didn't even do the walloping. Oh, shit. Well, now you can wall up to your heart's content, though. Woo, that was real- did you see that? Woo, that was real close. That guy almost turned the tide. No, he didn't. The walloper is actually weak to wallop. Well, he's not gonna wallop himself. He's the walloper, not the wallopy. You know what I'm saying? He's weak. <laughs> I love how he's like, nah, he's way too big for the frame. Okay. The fin got walloped again. <laughs> All this preparation for Fire Emblem Bio Sequence? I don't know what that means. Turn them up. Tremble in the eternal pits of fear. Kip. Felt like throwing a cool one-liner. Okay. <laughs> Shit. I mean, the wallop I got a wallop, you know what I'm saying? Uh... Well, okay. So let me just check that this. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, no, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Actually, we go in for the double wallop. Oh, so it just can't <laughs> get walloped. So it just cancels that out. Okay. That makes sense. I, I'm sort of understanding how the, the moves go back and forth. Fuck, jeez. They should, they should have made it like Mario Party where you could sort of had a chance at getting the right dice blocks. So this shows that he's gonna go after this guy. I don't have a, I don't have a block first. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, what are you doing? Wait. Okay. Oh. Um. Well, I might as well double wall up then, because he's gonna hit then block. Oh, get fucked. Fuck. That animation's cool. Hide. When I saw this lattice work of scars on her severed wrist, I was reminded of her wine cabinet. Oh, so this is just the descriptions from Lobotomy Corporation. I remember that one. 
that doesn't matter to me. Many hands float in the bath. Um, after three successful attacks on the same target, sure. Please select a librarian. Oh, well, the walloper's gonna get it. Oh, you, oh, you, you fucked. Not that you could do anything anyway. Oh, except the walloper can no longer wallop. It truly is a sad day. But, I mean, you have one health. Wallop, 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 wallop. Blue hair, I know. Yes, Chandy, it's like aggro indicators in Final Fantasy XII. I haven't played that game. Why is this red? Oh, I see what you mean. So, <laughs> I see what you mean that Yoon's gonna be good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Cause he's, he looks like he's about to wallop. They, they, you don't say anything. I'm the walloper. <laughs> okay, well, you're the walloper must wallop. Fragile on next scene. Oh, inflict one fragile on next scene. Well, okay. I mean, she's getting walloped. should have followed Yoon here. That asshole didn't even help. Yeah, he, he did the hit and then dodge and there was just nothing he could have dodged. It's much better than- I'm the Walloper! <laughs> Doesn't matter what my any of my other librarians say. Add plus two power to the next die. Well, okay, hold on. So who, who goes first here? So if you do that. Well, I'll just do. Oh, these are dice ranges. I just understood that. I am understanding the game more now. I think I'll... Whoa, whoa, hold on. Um, he's getting fucking walloped. See ya. Oh shit, wait. Wait, I thought you were going after him! Whatever. This fight looks pretty serious to me. I mean, he's really getting walloped. Um... The music ramped up. No more wallops. This sounds like Demo. Why is Skitter Away do damage at the end? Um, okay. Yeah, good fucked. <laughs> You're still alive? What? How? Well, f fuck you. Wallop, 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 wallop. <laughs> this is like Slay the Spire. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Dark Souls looking kind of weird today. Yeah, we got the walloper. We're still rolling. You can use a blocker or evade die to counter that. I sort of, I, I understand more how this works. I just don't fully understand the order. Determine Challenger. 
Headwear 2. 2% 2 chance to boost stagger damage of each type. How do you get this? Is that just a random thing that happens when you're doing these? Excellent. This guest named Yoon could make an especially valuable book for us. They're all like moths diving into flames. They all, do, they all are like, I want the books, I want the power, and then they just get the wallop instead. That Yoon guy seemed like the clever sort, but he ended up blindly jumping into the fire to get what he wanted. Once you've had a taste of desire... <laughs> Once you've had a taste of desire, it comes in like an unstoppable wave. It's a quote I heard a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, a long, a long time ago. I don't think it's been that long, but um, yeah, I, I remember that. It was fresh just because I literally heard it yesterday. But is that desire true to one's heart? <laughs> well, aren't you funny? You said you despise random bit of speech, and now you're being all poetic. Ten out of ten delivery. A certain librarian I know would have taken an arm and a leg off. If she heard that. Look at that fucking. Look at the smile. Look how like just. Sneering, that is. So I get back to sorting books. Angela Maldero. Angela Maldero. It's just as Angela said. We got another floor. We really got another floor of the library. Remember she... Oh, that's true. That's true. hundred times slower she experienced time. But yeah, you're right. She experienced a thousand... 10,000 years, 100 times slower, so a million years, yeah. Hey there, my name's Roland. Roland. Mokuth! <gasps> Damn. Damn. Here's the thing. Why? Look at me over there. Or Roland over there. I don't understand why they... They sound, sound like they suffered for many, many years. But they didn't, right? On, the only people that suffered for many years was Bina, Hakma, and Angela. And A, right? Not Malkuth and the rest of them. Dude standing there like his parents are fighting. I didn't get that part because they were like, now finally an end to our suffering. I'm like, you guys have only been here for like, not that long like 50 days right they suffered a lot but they only remember the last loop yeah that's that's what i was talking about they remembered everything at the end of day 50 is that what happened i mean i mean also their lives were fucking hell let's see who is wh what who is she is she michelle or is that hod was michelle because Michelle <laughs> Michelle fucked up I don't this is Elijah okay that's what I thought I, I didn't think this was Michelle Angela you I thought we were already done with that topic you simply need to cooperate without complaint History, Malkuth. Why is she at the top? Shouldn't she be at the bottom now? That was the deal, remember? Did I miss something? No. And try to appreciate that fleshy body of yours you finally earned back. Did you really think you could make me happy just by just giving me a body? Remember day 50? I, I do sort of remember day 50. What happened at the facility? I'm not sure exactly what you mean that answers my question. You're better than me at remembering their human names. I can only remember Gabura and Bina's original names. Bina's name is hard, Garion. <laughs> to be fair, I finished Lobotomy Corporation yesterday. Wait, what'd she say? Fuck. Um, don't forget, I still don't agree with you. As you wish. <sighs> Damn, that was tense. Dude, you have no- you have no, your level of suffering is nothing compared to anyone in this fucking library. <laughs> Hello there, I'm the patron library- librarian. It turned upside down. I know! She should be at the bottom. That's what I'm saying. 
I'm the patron library in the in charge of the floor of history. Oh, they gave her her actual human appearance. I just noticed that. I oh, got mixed up are. with Hod. Hod and Hod and her Elijah look so similar. I still don't know how to say your name. I don't feel like Malkuth is correct. It's probably like Malkuth. You seem lively at least. What was going on just now? I have some unfinished business with Angela. You probably heard bits of it, but I have no choice but to follow her orders, no matter how I feel. So nothing's changed. Um, I'm in the same shoes as you. As yours. Though we seem to have ended up here for different reasons. So what can I do for you? You can bring me books, Roland. Since I'm in charge of the floor of history, I'm sorting the books you bring and collecting those that are about, are about history. I mean, if you think about it, she's not suffering as much now, whereas Angela is still like in a perpetual state of suffering. <laughs> Librarian added floors from the bottom up? What the fuck? What? Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about, like, endgame lore for Lobotomy Corporation. Don't worry about it. We're, we're talking about the previous game. You don't need to worry about it. You gotta just play Lobotomy Corporation. What? This game is deep. It's deep in the lore. And they all have two names. Every single character has two names. Except, well, Angela technically does still. And we'll naturally get to unlock more floors and awaken their patron librarians in the process. So the other librarians are asleep for now? Yes, they are. I get the gist of it. You're surprisingly bright for someone. So shit. A moment ago, by the way. Man, it's so weird seeing her human prison. I just keep getting her mixed up with Hod because they look so damn similar. You'll watch a 20 minute summary with some dude with a 2008 mic instead? No, you gotta play the game, it's good. I was kind of worried I might have to endure some of that wrath. I can't let my personal affairs get in the way of work now. I still have my problems with Angela, but it's not like getting mad about it will do me any good. I got my own reasons to do my best with this work too. Okay. Okay then. Tilda, we'll give it our best shot. Zay. Now select the history floor. Floors with open doors. This middle portion allows you to navigate the information of the floors that are currently available. Malka. More floors will be unlocked when certain conditions are met. New librarians are shown on new floors. Racist? Me? What? You can view the information on the newly opened store. You can check the librarian's floor assignments and have the rally pages. I... Oh. Oh. Well, can I bring you up to me? Can you come to me, though? What? What is that pose she's doing? I can't tell because it's so small. Yeah, you're racist for making Walloper bright yellow. Why? Also, the reason Malkuth is the first to show up is because the facility got turned upside down on day 50. You say that, but Malkuth is literally at the top of the facility before it gets turned upside down. So that makes no sense. Malkuth is the, the first person you get to see in Lobotomy Corporation. So if it's upside down, that means it'd be the last person. Would it not? So I should be seeing fucking. I should get my. I should be getting my ass fucking slapped by Bina right now. And now she's at the bottom of the library. Is that what this is? I thought this was the top and it was gonna go down, but I guess. 
I didn't know I was at the bottom. I thought I was at the top. No, wait, but this is going down. I don't understand what you mean. I'm pretty sure I understand what I what I understand. You know what I'm understanding? Okay, um... I only have one book of airy. Well, I can't burn it then. Book of Yoon's office. Holy shit, that's a lovely animation. Ah! I mean, that's not that exciting. Oh, okay. I understand. There's clouds in the sky, Andy? Well, then why did she show up below me, though? Why is it going? It's going to go down, then up? Why the fuck is this left and right? What? Okay, the Walloper. <laughs> nice. Um, okay, Roland. How good is this? Fatal, normal, normal, fatal. <clears throat> so this is just, just literally better in every way. It's, it's just better just is. Okay, Malkuth. Your fucking stats suck so much ass I don't even want to look at them. Um, we're, we're all, we're all doing this. Do you really want Bion to be the first person you have to talk to? No, I, I don't. I, I fuck, fuck that. So, I don't, don't, I don't, I don't really understand what's going on. Also, why don't I have any, oh. Can I? Oh. Um. Wait. So it just. Okay, here we go. So do this, and then, and then. the librarian. No, that's the name of the fucking thing I just made. And then this goes here, equipped, and then this. I don't have combat pages. What do you mean not enough combat pages? What? Is it locked into that other thing? Think fast, who's your favorite character from the Lobcore cast? Huh, huh, huh. Uh, Kali. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you can take him off? That's fucking annoying. This seems, wait. Oh, oh my gosh. This... I guess I can see a reason. I guess I can see how this would be useful. It's just... Okay. I don't have enough time to, like, figure this out. Okay, Walloper. this? Sure, I don't care. N literally, it doesn't matter. I just deal with whatever I got. As long as I got a balance. Oh, thrust. Um, okay. Okay, and then... Honestly, we're gonna be walloping all the time. Feeling good? Oh, hell yeah. I don't know what I just did. That's fine. Whatever.
Okay. No wallop on walloper? Sad? The, the... He's got three wallops. I gave him three wallops. He's got three wallops. Also be mindful that the decks need to be taken out of unused characters. Yeah. So there's no point in me... I don't understand how this is going to work when I get to... Is there anything left to do here? Because do, do I have to worry about... I don't understand what's going to happen here. I'm going to make Malkuth fucking rabid. <laughs> I, I just, I, I really don't care. Um, okay, let's see. I'm gonna make Malku fucking round? That's not what I said. I said rabid. Brother of iron? Who the fuck are these idiots? You guys... You guys should regularly refill your head with brain fluid. A, a dry brain dulls your thoughts. I, I knew I've been feeling so hazy these days. Wh where are we going to rob this time? I, I think we should go to for a workshop. What, what workshops are rich and they have useful components too. H how about an office? We, 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 we should earn some infamy if we take down an office or two. I, I, I don't think we'll get anything valuable from the offices we can take on right now. A, a restaurant, then. I, I like delicious stuff. Did, did you already forget why we got our new bodies? But, but, but because we wanted to focus on earning without having to worry about food or sickness. That, that, that's right, we're, we're enduring like crazy. The, the, these bodies just need brain f fluid, fuel, and some repairs from time to time. But, but we can make money from without feeling hungry or thirsty. That, that, that's true. It, it costs a fortune to get ourselves whole body replacements. But, but it's still uncomfortable. I just, no, I don't have to eat anymore. But I keep thinking about all the tasty things I had before, and it makes me want to taste them again. If they were so intent, like, they wanted food and shit, why would they, like, get into robotic bodies where they can no longer get food? What? They didn't think about this. Respect the hustle. Andy, you can select different rosters between acts. It's also a bit of insurance in case the main party gets wiped. But I, it just like resets, doesn't it? That, that's because we got cheap bodies from a cheap workshop. We just have to earn more, then we can replace our bodies with expensive ones. The, the most expensive ones can even adjust emotions and completely shut off desires on top of having good performance. Bro, that's called dying. But those are almost as expensive as a nest household. We can worry about that later. Let's focus on the money making right now. It's all it's all about money in the end. That bread. So, so don't bring up restaurants. You just make me want to eat stuff too. M -m 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 There's a piece of paper stuck in your body. I, I like how this body doesn't have sensory systems, but it, it's annoying to be unable to feel things like this. Let's have a look at the piece of paper first. I don't think that was in your body until just now. Maybe we got too infamous or s and someone sent us a calling card or something. Some fights you can use more than one floor, so when one dies you use the other. 
Hmm. Gets metal bodies so they don't need to eat. The whole motivation is to eat nice food. Big brain move. That's because they need, they need the splish splash of brain fluid. Shut off all desire sigma robots. You read it wrong. I can't believe Google Nest exists in this setting. Nests are, <laughs> nests are places in the center of the districts that are very much nicer and not as dystopian. Or maybe a coupon for yummy new food. <laughs> are all syndicates composed of such half-witted individuals? I was expecting to find someone more refined. It all depends on the syndicate. The city is crowded with them. You could even say there's one for every fixer out there. You should combine all these pieces of papers and paper into stacks and bind them, then put them on the shelves in a room. Your official head canon is now this whole dystopia is now Google's fault. I mean, you could say that. I mean, it's just hyper capitalism. A number of thugs gather up and do things under a name. You get a syndicate it's it, it's sort of like i have no mouth but i must scream and i must scream but let more happy but still shit angela would be the the am or whatever it was called they're involved in all sorts of different businesses so it's hard to give a general description beyond that <laughs> They seem sloppy. Are those machines? They aren't machines or AIs, despite appearance. Pure machines carrying their own emotions and desires have long disappeared from the city. These guys are just whole body replacements and low quality ones from a shoddy workshop at that. I see. Alright, shall we prepare for the reception? So we can find valuable stuff here, right? We just have to chop up some monsters and take some bullets. This body has strength if nothing else. We came here for loot, but what if this piece of paper was all lost? So what are they getting from the books? I know we get the books, but what do they get from the books? They get all the, the items and shit? Am would be Ian, Han. Nah, I guess so. Sort of. Shit to sell, basically. She thinks, therefore, she am. Head fucking hates AI. Yeah. Maybe we were too naive. There is no need to worry, dear guests. In this place, we strictly play by the rules written on the invitation. Yikes. I don't know. I... Welcome, dear guests. This is the library. My name, I am Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. Damn. She's got that line down to perfection. Uh, she just says the same shit as usual. Must be one of those ploys by rich folks. I bet they're trying to get us to join this church and spend a bunch of money to get up the ranks. It's all entertainment to them. I heard that they kidnap people from the back streets, from California, trap them in a labyrinth no one can escape, and make them wander in there, fighting for all eternity. I love how Mao has a gun on her sprite but never uses it. They get info and can sell them. Until they die, never to see the light again. We've come this far. We have to do this. Don't be so gloomy. May you find your book in this place then. Fucking losers, see ya. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. I see. I thought it was up here because it's so close to Kether. But okay, this makes sense. This is this makes more sense. That's why I was confused because I thought it was up here. Like it looks in the the home screen. My body creaks a lot, but still durable. I like how. All 
I don't like actually how it's only the beginning of their sentences that are fucked. If this goes well, we can move to a better body, right? Maybe I'd, like some restaurant coupons one of the books. I'm the Walloper! <laughs> What are you doing? You ready to get walloped? Oh, fuck that. Um, what, what are you doing? My chance of winning that is fucking ass. Okay, well, what I think I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do this. The wallop I got a wallop, so I don't even think when he plays. Fuck. Wait, what the fuck happens when you have two defenses against each other? Shit. Shit. I mean, you're getting fucking walloped. Blow up. Um. But blow up, sorry. Blow it up. Uh. Well, hold on. We might not want to wallop. Oh, wait, but your speed is really low. That means I'm gonna hit first. So wait, so what's gonna happen? So I would wait for him to strike and then I'd hit? Is that how that works? And then uh, the wallop, I got a wallop. So are you gonna come in after? I think that's how that works. Oh fuck. Wait, why'd he dodge him? I- I don't understand. THE WALLOP! <gasps> you can block block and does stagger damage? Oh, okay. Why do people in this world only carry melee weapons? I don't know. Um... Do these fuckers even do... I don't know if these guys actually even do slash damage. I mean, we're, we're gonna wallop him. He has no- he can't do anything, he's gonna get walloped. Now you're probably gonna fucking obliterate him. Um... Okay, what I think I want is this. Damn, that was sad. Bullets cost more than the gun itself. Guns are taxed for moral reasons? Is that a real thing? I mean, like, Lobotomy Corporation is, like, completely self-sufficient with its, uh... kind of weapons and shit. Oh, it rolls over. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, also, I did not do this. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, there are guns and they're not balanced. They're kind of dumb. Guns should always be OP in games because they're OP in real life. Walloper, can you wallop? Fuck him up. Fuck him up. What are you doing? 
Okay, well, whatever. The Walloper ain't gonna get walloped by these idiots because we have so much help, we don't have to worry about it. Get walloped! They were my longtime friends, but this is not to be set. This is not the time to be sad over their losses. I worked like a dog, only to die like this is so unfair. And get walloped! The walloper does not care. He only cares about the wallop and sometimes the rusting. Get walloped! I don't even care what you're doing. You're getting walloped. Bloodborne guns are pointing the flintlock at Cthulhu. That's true. I, I don't care. You're getting... No. What the fuck? Stop. No, get... What? What is going on? Wallop him. Oh. It takes two to wallop? What the fuck? Get... Wa wallop him. Wallop him. Go, wallop. Oh, he... he I did the wallop. Get walloped. <laughs> the wallop, 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 wallop. Guns exist, but only used by wealthy people that can pay the ammo tax. Damn, they got just fucking walloped. Do these items, where do these items come from? Where are they? <sighs> See, it's not a good idea to keep your brain inside a hunk of scrap metal. Is it still better than the hum frail human body though? Isn't it still better? There are plenty of ways to enhance your body without replacing it for another. Heck, there's actually many options. Tattoos, prosthetic limbs, medications and drugs, you name it, it's all possible as long as you have the cash. Done a customization stream? Okay. I wonder how far Andy will last with wallop strats. I feel like I'm missing something crucial to how the game plays, but it's mostly just the aiming, or the uh, order. Replacing your body with the machine, on the other hand, is a one-way ticket you can't ever go back on. Robotic bodies cannot resemble humans too closely, even if it's for someone swapping out their flesh. Your life goes straight down the drain right away. When, when does one put their brain in a machine, then? One, when you urgently need a huge amount of money. You can sell off your old body and organs for a good chunk of cash. Two, when you need to do repetitive work for a long time. I heard mechanical bodies like that aren't bad for that kind of labor. Broken parts can be quickly replaced and desires can be kept under control, so it has its merits. Repetitive work for a long time. What, interested in getting a new body? No, it's just reminded of my past for a moment. <laughs> An abnormality. I was gonna quit right now, but I'm interested in this abnormality now. Makuth, you think you got it? Wait, let me see the... Uh, let me... Where's the items? Where, where, where's the items? Oh, is this the these? Oh. If you smoke, kids, you can have a 1% chance to boost evade dice power by plus one. 1% for plus one? Holy shit. That's insane. That's good. I mean, that looks like a determined challenger to me. Obtain condition? Oh, so you can get these by doing, like, random shit? What, what, is, what is that? Is that, like, Grime? The Pied Piper. Oh. 
like something on the cheek. During the abnormality... Oh, phew. During the rats and cow defeat Pete Lenny. They're mainly just cosmetics. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. I really like them in... Uh, Oh, well, but, but I kinda, I mean, the Walloper kinda looks like he'd be a smoker. Do I only have one? Or do I actually have multiple advanced? Oh. I mean, I, I like the walloper not getting staggered. You have to earn battle symbols for each character. Oh, okay. It's time to waste your time by being unconscious. Shit. But then you'll be all ready and set for the next day, my man. So my coots doesn't have anything. I'll do this, I have normality battle. And then I will Scorch Girl. I hate the Scorch Girl, but she's easy. Um, I, I'll show you guys my Lobotomy Corporation employees after this. I don't have my first... Or, well, I guess... I don't have my, my playthrough where I got super attached to all of them. Only my most recent playthrough. Oh. Wait, can I install... How big is Lobotomy Corporation? Because I just deleted it, but maybe if I install it, it would be easier to show you guys. Hold on one second. She looks exactly like she did. Unlike, um, the Bloodbath. Lobotomy Corporation is 5 gigs. Shit, I can't download it. It'll take fucking years. Now, Kuth, you're going against a lot, but I believe in you. Actually, this is a lot. You think you can continue this game? Maybe. Maybe. It seems like a lot of people are here. I'm enjoying it. I feel if you guys are enjoying it, that's all that matters. Well, damn that I'm enjoying it enough. Oh. Okay. Lose 50% of max HP and become staggered when ally dies. Lose all light. Con, con, become the stagger. Fucking get fucked, idiot. What? What happened? <laughs> what? Why did that happen? Is that something I did in the last? Um. Okay, well, I, what I'll do is I'll do this. So, and what's that gonna do? Yeah, this should work out well for me. Oh, it immediately blocked. Huh. I wonder why it didn't do the hit first, but that's still in my favor. Turn to Ash in the end, poor thing. Oh, this thing has 250 health. Okay. Fuck. Is this- is it even doing anything? Or does it just have like a constant win factor? Broken hope. Wait, is that- no- oh fuck, I pressed one button. Oh shit. What are you doing? One out of eight? What- what is this girl doing? What- what is she doing? She does something if you let her charge her light? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This- this is just better, I think. Fuck! Eight?! Are you shitting me? Oh no!
One to four. Okay. Please get fucked. Four again? What the fuck? Get out of here. <laughs> oh, I'm going to die. Because she is, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I know how she works. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll evade. You're not even ready for me to evade. Or wait. Is this... How does this work? I'm fine. Oh, and staggered? Yeah. Oh, please don't put me in perpetual f getting fucked mode. Oh my gosh, please kill it. Please fucking kill it. Please kill it. These high fucking values. Get out of here. Jeez, uh... I forgot. I, I forgot. I should know what Squirts Girl does. Not the... Is Andy gonna get stun locked again? That's what I thought was gonna happen. I thought it was gonna be like stagger and then she blows up again. I'm like shit. <laughs> Blue die cancel each other out, so face with a strong defend you can hit it with a weak defend to deal with it. Oh, okay. So have the books helped? <laughs> A day? I'm sorting them all somehow. She does something if you let her charge her light. It'll be funny. Yeah. Fuck that thing. I wiped out <laughs> five of my guys once because I was stupid. It seems to be working, thankfully. Phew, that's good to hear. By the way, I remember Angela saying something along the lines of you get of you earning a fleshy body the last time we met. Were you, like, not human before? It was like a replacement body, a change that couldn't ever be reverted. I mean, I don't understand what she means by that sentence, but I know, I know what happened there. So you had a brain, brain transplant surgery, but somehow managed to go back to your old human body here? It's actually pretty impressive, thanks to the library's powers, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think so. Can't let yourself be held back by common sense in the library, huh? I take it you don't really like having your body back? You didn't seem too happy back then. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no, I actually do like it. It's just that this isn't exactly how I wanted things to go down. What'd you do in the past then? Yeah, I wonder, what was I in the past really? You wouldn't believe it, but this is actually my third try at life. Well, you wouldn't believe me, but this is like your fucking, like, 10,000th try. This library and its librarians have a lot of history behind them. Third try? You, can you come back from the grave or something? It's the accumulated memories from my two previous bodies that were carried over, to be precise. My past selves, I never really thought about it this way before. Difficult problem you're facing there. How about your present self? <laughs> I'm an irresponsible person who let down everyone's efforts. And an idiot who tried to reach for something outside, out of my means and ended up causing trouble, I suppose. That's your present self? That, that was in your past, baby. That wasn't... No, you're, you're fine. Where's, you just gotta get your clipboard back and everything will be good, right? Take a deep breath and let it out. Pa. Yeah. Okay, I'm not reading this. Relax now. Yeah. Really help. Thanks, Roland. Isn't she the one that's like 
We gotta get shit done. I don't care how many people die. They were all losers anyway. I should know better than anyone that's pointless to get upset over things I don't, uh, can't do anything about. I gotta start with the things I can take care of first. Everyone else can fucking die because they're weak. Alright, I'll try with my hard work too. Let's take our time with the problem of our past selves. Bro, you really don't have much of a past, it seems. New assistant library awoken. Oh, that's right. Uh, I don't really care. I'll be on my gun. Vera. I had a Vera on my last playthrough. I'm an irresponsible person who let down everyone's efforts. POV Andy when someone brings up the July video. I mean, I, that that's not my responsibility, though. That's not my fault. I, I don't have any horses. I demand ho What the fuck are you guys talking about? He's so blithe about asking if she wasn't human before. Do people just transplant animals into human bodies in the setting? Clockwork, the last scene they were talking about how they put... Hum they transferred human consciousness into robots. Dang, I thought I was getting excited. I thought I got I would get to see another Sephira. But um they gotta They gotta pace that shit. Well that was cool. Um yeah, we'll see. I might do this again. It's fun. Um I like Lobotomy Corporation a lot more, but that's because I understand it more. But real quick. Oh, maybe you know what? Maybe I can do this. Ooh, that's a secret run. Um, uh, uh, okay. I want to see if I can play. I recorded this, which wasn't the smartest thing to do. I should have just taken... Oh, maybe I do have screenshots of this. Maybe it'll just be easier instead of sharing my screen. No, it's got to be a movie. I remember why. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh where is it? Lobotomy employees. There we go. Okay. Um... Please don't dox me. Okay, cool. We get the music too. All right. So this, for funsies, this is uh, real quick. My uh, lobotomy corporation. This is my second playthrough or my third and winning playthrough, which didn't have like I wasn't connected to these guys that much because they didn't face any danger into the last days. Um. But this is the guy, this is, I made this guy before I knew you could change names. Oh, it's, you can't see the name up here. Anyway, this is Mao, and it has this special, unique, custom Kirby hat. And you'll see that, well, at the same time, I don't like some of the accessories. I also kind of like that it shows they, uh, you know, they got... It kind of shows what they went through, and also I had to keep them organized. This is, the name was legitimate, but this is my Bong Bong. She was very good. She has a sister, um, right here, named Bing Bing, and she died in the last day. Uh, she got killed when I pressed pause, and she died. Uh, the, oh, there's a Vera. These three don't matter. They, they fucking, they're like last day shit. This is Mr. Burt Bugless. <laughs> and then we have Bubble Yum Yum. And worked very hard to get that, that, uh, what's it called? That bubble. 
we have twerp. <laughs> we have, yeah, uh, Reinhardt's no one special. This is Angel. He's one of the only guys that has all the shit taken off of him, except this ice thing. He used to have um, a five o'clock shadow for a very long time. There's Zeppo. See, I can't tell you anything exciting about these guys, unlike my other stuff, other employees. There's Joshua V. We got Eraserhead. We got him. We got Holly Shint. <laughs> Saf, who's just whatever. Uh, Pistachio, there's nothing special about her. Um, brown isn't real. Uh, we got, that's not a nose. It's, he has, or it, he only has a nose. It's not a mouth. We got, uh, that guy doesn't matter. Bing Bing, the, they don't matter. Shay is just a name I like. She's pretty fucking baller. This girl was called Megane, but, or however you say that, where she had glasses, but then it got replaced with Justia. We got who? We got really bro? Uh, Clover, fucking, who is this? Uh, she is just another. See, once I got down here, I couldn't think of any more names, so a lot of these guys are just stupid. Yes, these are all, all Max Schizo, Andy. These are all my imaginary friends. I, if this was my second playthrough, I could actually tell you, like, important things about these people and what they did and what they went through. But all these guys, basically, for 45 days, went through in intense training sessions. And only three of them died. Two people. One person died. I don't remember who they were. But because they got sent to Letitia, and then I accidentally sent that person to the container next to him and they died from that and then I can't remember how the second person died and the only other person that died before day 45 oh no that was on day 46 was Guinevere I made Guinevere and I have no idea how she died she just went into Letitia's containment unit and I looked back and she was dead inside the unit uh, this is Browit. We got, uh, Gregory's cool. He was very good. We got Snake Man Jim. We got, fuck, is that a hairstyle? And then we got however the fuck you say that name. Uh, nothing special. She is one of the last ones I made before I couldn't think of anything else. We got See No Evil. Uh, all of those people don't fucking matter. This... Emma, Eden, Amelia. So it was en Emma, Eden, Amelia, and then Bong Bong and Mao were all my fir first five guys, and they all survived till the end of the game. Um, and then the rest of these people are just useless piece of shits that I don't care about because I couldn't think of more names or customization. But those are all my guys. Maybe I should bring some of them back. Emma was so baller that she ended up not doing anything because I maxed her out in like day six and then she just kind of sat around for most of the time. What is Lobotomy Corporation in terms of gameplay? If I didn't have the uninstalled game, I could tell you. You have direct, you have direct influence on their actions you can move them around make them attack each other or abnormalities you can send them to work uh you can send them to get drugged up but it's like uh it's sort of like think of like battle for middle earth or like civ 5 i think it's been a while since i played civ where you like you can like highlight your dudes and then you can move them to a place but it's not it's not that intense. It's 2D. There's just vertical and horizontal. There's no depth. Not really. Yeah, I don't have any gameplay. I thought about recording my final night, but it didn't, uh, it, it wasn't that exciting. Not my final night, my day 49. It, it was pretty fast. It was like a, 
Oh, uh, actually, I have it here. If you want to see my stats real quick for the guys that are really into Lobotomy Corporation. Um, where, 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 where? Oh. Actually, I have to open a conversation for this. Let me get this quick. So this is my final day, and day 45. What is this? Oh, this can be replaced. This is my final day report. So it took me 24 minutes. Um, yeah. See, that first trumpet was a pause. I paused the game and two people immediately died. And then I think this next trumpet was another pause or two pauses. And I don't know what it's, it's including here. But yeah, I had 12 people die that day. <laughs> no promotions, that's shit. Yeah. Lamau Weeb. Wyatt, I feel like this is a game you'd be really into. Either of these games. But that's it. The previous attempts at that, everyone died. <laughs> well, e either they died or I shut it off before everyone could die. So you're not really building things? No, you don't build anything in that game. Yeah. So basically you tell a bunch of dorks to play the game for you? They're not dorks, they're sweet little nuggets. And then you also have clerks. Now the important thing to remember with them is their lives don't matter. And honestly, they should all die. I should never see them. They should die before they even pop up on screen. Because clerks can go fuck themselves. The number of times I've had a clerk fuck up my entire day, too many to count, they are agents of evil and stupidity. And they should all be put to death immediately by firing squad. And that's my opinion on clerks. They can fuck off. They can fuck off. Um. Yeah. It does look like you're kind of logistic simulator. Yeah, that one is, this is like a deck building game. I was showing the prequel right there, or the, well, the game that came before. This game, maybe not so much, but I feel like the other game would. It, it is sort of fucking logistics. Okay, that's gonna be it from me tonight. I enjoy this game so far. I like the Lobotomy Corporation better, but maybe that's just because I understood Lobotomy Corporation. It's also Lobotomy Corporation is a lot of fun, like, discovering stuff. Whereas this, it's... All I do is wallop. That's the answer to everything so far, is just the wallop. So, uh... Yeah, maybe I'll stream this again, we'll see. I'll let you guys know what I'm doing on Thursday. If I stream- am I streaming Thursday? Yeah, I should be. I'll probably be taking the Christmas week off. Maybe. Maybe just a couple days. The bottom of me balls corporation? Exactly. But I hope you enjoyed. The music's fantastic. Um, uh, so I'll be doing Armored Core tomorrow. And, uh, Fume Night on Monday. Uh, Thursday, we'll see what I do. Could be any number of things. Um, because I still intend to finish the Dead Space remake. And... Some other runs I started, or playthroughs I started. But I just wanted to play this because I started Lobotomy Corporation, or I finished Lobotomy Corporation, and then I wanted to get my hands on this. Um, I almost certainly won't be streaming Limbus Company, though. I don't, just from what I played so far, I don't, I don't know if I'm really that interested. I'll probably just play that 
offline. It just seems like this game, but worse. Oh, Deus Ex. I don't know. I will definitely, when I do play Deus Ex, it will be on stream, I think. Remember to wallop that like button, that's right. But um, that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed. Oh my gosh, I'm way over. And uh, I mean, the first like 45 minutes of the stream was like just talking <laughs> and like reading, so. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys all later. Um, have a good night, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, good wherever you are. And I hope everything works out for you guys. See you later.